2019's American Football, it's Josh Dias and Dan Huggins. Hello, Dan. Very excited. Hello, everyone. Um, this is my first varsity. Um, I am a first year. For all the first years that are here watching today's match, what, what do you tell them that they can expect? Uh, yeah, well, uh, what can you expect? A lot of sport, a lot of fun. Um, probably staff to lose. As, as we always do. I think we've lost the last 10 years uh, against Kiel in, in varsity, and it's not been a close not been close at all um, the last two years that I've done it uh, but we've got American football today Dan from what we can already tell this is one of staff's strong suits yeah we've already beaten Kiel twice this uh, calendar year not not calendar year academic year academic year that's yeah. the one um, so if there, there were odds I think staffs would be considered heavy favourites for this one uh, I think they will be. They won last year, so they're coming into Varsity as, as the holders of, of Varsity. As you can see uh, behind us, the Stallions are getting ready uh, for the game. Um, yeah, uh, we've got a packed week of action as well. Uh, Monday, tomorrow, we've got the men's football from uh, Newcastle Town Football Club. That's a half seven kickoff. You can catch it here on OMG Staffs and on StaffsTV.com, uh, YouTube.com forward slash StaffsTV. Um, and then on Tuesday, we've got the women's rugby from Newcastle Rugby Club. Uh, that's a half past five kickoff. And then Wednesday, you've got just a packed uh, day of action of sport. We've got Babington starting us off on the uh, at 10 o'clock from the Sir Stanley Matthews Sports Centre and then that will finish the day around uh, basketball uh, at about a quarter past nine this uh, on Wednesday evening. It's getting quite loud over on the keel end, not very loud on the stallions end. We've already had a few exchanges of words already. Yep. The atmosphere is building. Um, got quite a big crowd watching. We have got a good turnout. It's a nice turnout. It's nice weather. 
Um, it, well, it's a little bit windy. It's on and off. On and but off. people can cope with wind. As long as it's not raining, we're all right. I've just we're jinxed right. it now. It's going to rain. <laughs> but we've got, it's quite warm out as well. So if you are uh, hanging about, you've got nothing to do for your Sunday afternoon, then come down and watch American football and uh, have a great afternoon of uh, cheering on uh, your favourite university. Uh, we're going to bring in uh, today's commentators. Uh, we've got Tash and we've got Evan uh, commentating uh, on uh, this game for us today. Uh, Evan, I'll start with you. You're in the team, but but you're injured, aren't you? Yes, I am injured. Yeah. What what's, what seems to be the issue? Oh, it's just uh, knees problems. It's a common issue with linemen. Knees is always the first things to go. Go on. <laughs> Tash, you're our student president. What do you uh, what are you expecting today from the staff? Um, so I've been following the team slash part of the team slash kind of just doing whatever for the team uh, for the last five, I think it's my fifth year, isn't it? I'm looking yeah. at Evan, yeah, fifth year. Um, it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a weird one. So um, they've had their ups and downs over the last five years, but actually the teams are currently at two two when it comes to varsity over the last five and this is obviously we're hoping for the win. They won forty nil against them back in December. I'm going for a stallions win. I'm going to try and be as, as impartial as possible, even though I'm wearing my <laughs> with your Staffordshire. <laughs> 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 but we're gonna we're gonna get the win, I think, today. Evan, do you, do you agree with Tash? Do you, do you see a Stallions win today? I, I'd say so, yeah. But uh, the only difference is they've had about four months of preparation, really. So they're going to be, well, I'd say a completely different team. But uh, from what I can see, they're missing one or two key players from what I remember from when I played them in uh, December. But, yeah, overall, I'd say Stallions win. So a Stallions win all around. Um, we're probably wrong now. Keel will probably win, go and win this now. We've 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 jinxed we've jinxed staff to uh, to go and uh, win this afternoon. Uh, uh, been delayed the, the kick off to uh, half past one, so we're around about ten minutes away uh, from kick off. Um, you can stay on uh, social media across uh, Staffs TV and OMG to keep up with the, the scores uh, throughout Varsity 2019 this year. Um, so we're going to let you go and uh, get into your commentary positions and uh, have a good commentary session. Before you go, session. talking about key players, who do you think are the key players today to watch out for staffs? Oh, watch out for Pierre Bailey, number five, for sure. Um, Joe McKenzie, 82. Uh, Big Ben. Big oh, Big Ben, yeah. Desi. Uh, Desi, uh, Zach Green, QB. Yeah. Um, oh, Simeon. Well, Simeon is our uh, small Missy, running back yeah. who is completely, is extremely agile. I think as well, our corners, just themselves, actually, they look quite, they look quite short, but they got hops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Staffs fight and they win, apparently. Just getting a bit loud. Uh, I think we are ready for kickoff, so we're going to let you go, and uh, we will hand over to the commentary team, uh, Tash and Evan. Varsity 2019. I am here, um, Tash Crop, with Evan Walgrove. How are you doing, Evan? I am doing well. I'm <laughs> very excited right now. So, luckily, um, Stallions won the toss. Uh, they decided to defer, um, which means that they are kicking off, which also means that second half we get to receive the ball, which we do, means we, we have the first chance yes. to score. It's been our tactic all year to uh, defer, so defense goes on first, so we can kind of figure out what the offense will be doing for the rest of the game. Amazing. So, Stuart. Our little, our little, our little span, our little Spaniard. A little Spaniard, yes. Um, yes. decide to step up and learn how to kick uh, this year, so he'll be kicking off for the Stallions. And it's away into the wind. And the wind has taken it. They are down straight away, and we are down to about the 33. And Wells with the uh, good tackle. So Kiel are on offense. Let's see what they come out with. They've got not very tall players, but from what we've seen earlier this season, when they not very physical. No, we have I'd say maybe one or two good linemen. But we'll see how what they come out with, and we know that Salians D are very strong, being one of the best defenses within Division Two this whole season. 
but I also have to say that their offense is much better than their defense. Yes, they are. And they're away, and they started with a run, and Big straight ben away, the they are down in the backfield. Big Ben with a good tackle. Evan did say that Big Ben was going to be a stand-up player. Yep. And straight away, in the backfield, taking them back, so they had lost yard, and they're on the second down. We lost about five yards from that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. second and 14, I think. So let's see what Kiln come up with now. They've tried the run and they're going to go with the pass. Yeah. Yep, and pass. they go for a pass oh, and, oh, and it's intercepted! Oh, it's intercepted. Oh, it's intercepted. Oh, it's and, and Wallace it's with the catch. And we did oh. say to watch out. We did say to watch out for our corners, didn't we? Yeah, we did indeed. Our corners have great coverage. Two plays in and Stallions have already made kill, lose yards and also intercepted the ball. <laughs> Got a little bit excited, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm from saying so many things right now. <laughs> you and me both, you and me both. You and me both. <laughs> you do, I don't. You do, I don't. Okay, so Salians are now on okay, offense. Are now on and we're going to see what they can do. Are, gonna do. are they going to, do you think they're going to stop with a run or, or, or a pass? Uh, we were told to set plays, but looks like it might be a pass. Oh, oh, and it's a run. Oh, and it's Kier oh, Bailey. Oh, and Kier he's through. And he's, break, oh, and he's gained about five yards from that. It was a great run by Kier Bailey. Yeah, it's definitely gotten chilly right now. It has. Unfortunately, it was nice and sunny this morning, and the wind has decided to hit Stoke on Trent, like it always does. It always likes to come and ruin the day, doesn't it? Okay, it's second and five. Kier Bailey still in the running back position. And he's going for the, oh, oh no. Oh. And we jumped on the ball, unfortunately. It was a missed snap. Zach fumbled it, managed to recover it. But it's, uh, oh, it looks like there was a flag. Was there a flag on the field? Yeah, there was a flag on the field. We're getting told, we're being told that it's an offside against Kiel. Yep, that is confirmed. Offside, Keel, number 77. That will be a five-yard penalty, I believe. Thankfully, that means that where the ball was last jumped on, that is completely brushed aside, and we are back up on the nine-yard line. Second and inches right now. Sorry, not nine-yard line. Not nine-yard line, no. <laughs> we are second and one, that's what oh, I meant. We've got going for long glass. Oh, here we go, Joey and Joe McKenzie. We said to watch out for Joe McKenzie. Fortunately, the signs are proving us correct today. We have made some good predictions. We're on the ball today, You're proud of us. Oh, we obviously had a good sleep. <laughs> oh, I've had a good sleep, I don't know about the rest of it. I was a, uh, about 20 yard throw. It's a nice catch by Joey McKenzie. <laughs> we just get, we're just getting in, in, in with the Stallions right now. They're all, we've... <laughs> Hi. I thought you were gonna say Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone, and Tash. Happy Mother's Day, Moad. <laughs> All the stallions All the there wishing their mums a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And we'll Kier Bailey, Kier Bailey, it's about two. It's about two. Oh, and he's oh, just and short of the score. Of the score. Yep. We got a bit way laid there when they were it's passing bit, us. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you don't stand in with the stallions. To, uh, <laughs> Kier running right around the outside. And I believe it's second in inches again. I'll be honest. I've got an oh, inkling no, that there. Uh, I've got an inkling that there. Uh, there could be a score within the next yes. play or two. <laughs> I, would, I would say so. Yeah. And if there's not, I'll be shocked. <laughs> I would be very shocked. Stands right now are coming out on fire. Snap. Ball's handed off to Kier Bailey once again. Unfortunately, Kiel managed to get in straight away. And it's, uh, I believe it's either a one-yard loss or. On the scrimmage line. It's on the scrimmage line from the looks. Oh no, one yard. They hadn't moved. Uh -huh. <laughs> slow there. Can't blame him, it's Ryan. It's a bit crippled at the moment. So it's third and three. Um, hopefully, Stallions will be able to get past the mark and get the first down and then the touchdown. 
trying to be as impartial as possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're doing well so far. They've held them to the third down. There's a snap. Here they go. Zach throws it to Joey. And it's a touchdown. And it's a touchdown. Joey McKenzie with how many touchdowns is it now this season? Oh, it's too many. He's had at least one per game. Yeah, at least one per That's game. I'm pretty sure there was like there was one game where he got three. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Maybe against Kiel Maybe against in against December, Kiel, yeah. or, or what was it? Chester, possibly. Chester, possibly. Yeah, with the 40, what was yeah. it, 46 nil? Win? 46 oh, there was a flag on the... Yeah. yeah. That was a flag on the field against Kiel, flag roughing flag the passer, um, which means that basically... It was a delayed hit on Zach or QB. There we go, Evan explaining it perfectly. Um, the TD stands, so it's currently 6 0 to the Stallions, uh, and it looks like with the fact that Stuart and Zach are coming out onto the field, uh, they are going to go for the one point, and they're going to try and get the they're going to try and get the field goal. Stuart has been solid all season with his kicking, hasn't he? He's only missed, I think, two. Yeah, I think I'd have to say, being impartial, the only weakness we have had is that our line does get pushed back, so Stu can't get the ball high enough over their heads. I mean, he does have to kick it over Big Ben. Great snap the by Chris kick. Middleton, oh. and oh, and it's good, even it with the tip, and it's post. good, so it's 7-0 to the Stallions, a great start, and Zach Green there with the motivational screaming. Oh, yes. This way he'll lose his voice soon. He will lose his voice soon, and then he won't even be able to shout for the snap. Snap smells the toast. Our lovely stallion touchdown. Seven nil to seven nil to the stallion. That was our players passing us once again. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of that today. Also, um, if I forgot to say this at the start, I've got to do a bit of housekeeping. Um, apologies if you hear any inappropriate language uh, from the sideline, from the players, or from anybody here um, at Staffordshire University on the grass pitches. Um, we are unfortunately going live. It does get a bit heated. Um, everyone does try to control themselves, and we never are anyway. Um, <laughs> Um, so Salians once again um, are kicking off. Yeah, they're setting up. We'll see if Kill can go for longer than two plays. We shall see. Give Stallions defense a bit of. That's a better kick. That was a great kick by Stewart. Number 12 catches it. Running and up he's the and he's running and he's down and he's. Oh, Pierre Bailey nearly got him down. There we go. Sets that was. Number 13 Number there, trying to get the ball down the, the field, ball. unfortunately, well, our players... Who finished that tackle there, can you tell? Um, I'm not too sure who finished tackle. I know that Kier, Kier, Kier started it. Kier set it up for someone else to come in, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of them. There was about five of them all piling on each other, which Good is a right there. Usual. usual. Okay, so Stallions back on D. This is a good position for them to get a safety, potentially. Yeah, they are on their nine-yard line. And we know that our defense can rush through and sack the QBs and get people down. Oh, and it was, that snap was, snap was high. Oh, and we've got the ball back again. Was that Josh, was that Josh Smith? Or is that Big Ben? I don't know who hit him, but I know Kyle Black managed to uh, grab it. Well, Carl, Carl Black, number well, 70, that was my bad. I, I, there was so many, so many, so many people. people and so oh, many no, things happening. On the floor with the ball. Oh, so Kyle got the strip. Kyle Black got the strip, managed to... So Stallions are now ball. back on offence, yes. suddenly. and on their on six-yard line. Yeah, so there, there's a good chance for another Stallions touchdown, literally yeah. within, within a few minutes. So we could be seeing yet another kickoff. An astonishing game right now. Oh, oh, it's a low snap. snap. Oh, snap. Zach did a good job there of jumping on the ball. It <laughs> Apologies for the language that you might be hearing on um, on the stream right now. Um, like what you said, we are completely live. We cannot control what anybody cannot says. Control now. This is a very heated competition. So. This is a very, it's always heated it's between always heated. Stallions and Crusaders, isn't it? Yes, it is. 
there was intense rivalry. So Stallions are now back on the 10 yard line, uh, pushed back four yards. Not a big deal with the no, fact that. Not a big deal, we're still on the 10 yard. Got time. Got time. It's a good snap. And the ball's away to, to Pierre Bailey, and he's, he's, he's got to be in. Pierre runs outside. There we go, this and he's in. Touchdown. 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 So it's 13 nil now to the Salians. Let's see if they go for the two or are they going for the kick again? Nah, I think they may stay safe and go for the kick. They're going for the kick. Stuart is on with Zach ready to place the ball. Place the ball. They're just in case it's a bad snap. Looks like they're not contesting it. Oh. oh, so it stays 13-0. They did not get the kick. They stayed 13-0. Seems like Keel Centre 3 weren't bothered about trying to uh, put any pressure up the middle. So the score is now 13-0 to the Stallions. Um, our better than 40-0 prediction from the yes. from from the December game could actually come true with um, a better what's start from our December game. Yes, it is. I think that to be fair, yes, it's a bit windy, but nicer weather. It's, it's nice weather. Nicer comes weather. Out. I remember what was. The, I'm pretty sure it was the kill game where they had um, nearly hurricane winds yes. happening. Yes, um, so it's understandable as to why it was only 40 and not more. Yeah. yeah. But let's see what the team can do now. Um, Hopefully, Kiel can have a chance to come out, give our give our defense a bit of something to work yeah. with. I think defense needs to work out a bit more. It's quite lucky though, because a lot of our players play on both sides of the ball, isn't it? Yes, I do. So <laughs> play Iron Man. we're getting a bit more of a rest. Steers ready for the kick. Kicks off. It's low. Goes past. And it's out of bounds. And it's out of bounds. That means we're going to be re-kicking. There is a flag down, yeah, and flag unless down. unless the ref has just dropped a flag, but there is a flag down. It won't be. Uh, it won't no, be a re won't be re kick. No, no. Uh, he's just dropped. He's just dropped. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yep, the ref has yep. just confirmed a legal procedure. The ball went out of bounds. However, it, all it means is just. Uh, Yards we will just against us. We will just lose some yards. We lose some so we're yards. starting off on our, oh, not ours. We'll wait for the ref. To They're the starting ball on the heel. We're starting on the kill 25. So we've lit. So normally, if a kill go out the back, it would be 20. All we've done is lost ourselves five yards yeah. by kicking it out of bounds. He'll stance the ball. And he's gone for the pass. It. Oh! Oh! oh. And it was nearly picked by, uh, twice. twice. Gets deflected by Ben Hockey, number 40, and almost picked by Aunt Wallace. And Wallace already has an inception. He could have got a second. Could have. He'll be gutted by that, I know he will. He'll want he'll want that second he wants one all now. The stats for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Corners don't get a lot of appreciation. We've got to get it somehow. <laughs> Keel setting up again. <laughs> Two in the backfield. <laughs> Snaps. And off. they're going for the lead, and he's through, but doesn't gain doesn't any yards. Gain any don't I think, think or if he he gained two. Or he gained two sorry gained two yards, yeah. two yards. He, he got pushed back but he had forward progression it's third down third and eight we'll see what see what they can do hopefully just to make it a bit of a game kind of want them to get the first down kind of yeah yeah kind of but kind of want to go back on offense as well yeah. <laughs> i do like our <laughs> He'll snap it. And it's Hands a run off. again. And it's a run. And can they get him down? Running out the outside. Gets tackled oh. by. He did well, but he's definitely he short. So it'll ben be. And Aaron. I think it'll be about four, fourth, and fourth and two. Fourth and two, yeah. Do you think they're going to go for it or do you reckon they'll kick it? Nah, they, they should go for it. I mean. It gives them a chance. It gives them a chance. The, uh, and they've had. They had and they, where, where they just had a good run. Yeah, they had a good run. The tackle there was done by uh, Ben Hocking and A.A. Ron. 
Not Aran. Not R R Ron. There's a great misconception there. Keel snaps it. And QB sneak, sneak up oh, the middle. And they've got the first down. They so Kiel have their first, have their, first their first. I was about to say touchdown. Then no. I've got definitely got a touchdown. Their first first down, first down of the, the game. Yeah. And Big Ben Tatlow is running off. So we've had a personnel change on the line. On the line. So we'll see if this gives Kiel some momentum, and we'll see what they can do with this first down. Snaps it. And he's going for the pass. pass. Gets and he gets it, and it's da and, and he's down. down by number 28. Reese. And they get another first get down. They seem to be moving the ball. They're on the 30-yard uh, line. Sorry, 29 line. And they're going for the run, and, the run. and straight away yes. brought down. To taken down in the backfield by Kyle Black and Desi. Desi's one of our rookies this year, has made quite an impact on D-line. He scored a touchdown himself, didn't he? He did, he did. We, we had one game where our defensive lineman not only opened the scoring, but closed the scoring. He did indeed. It's much the jealousy of the rest of the D-line as they're all trying to fight for that ball. So much the jealousy of the receivers and the running backs who don't tend to get, <laughs> who sometimes don't get a, a touchdown all game. It's a handoff again. Going for the run again. Runs up the middle. And they managed to get themselves There's a flag on the play. Back to the starting position, however, flag very sassily thrown. It was. By, by the referee there on top of the pile. I don't know what happened there. Um, from the looks of um, Captain Chris Middleton, it looks like he did, he indicated a face cage. Face cage, right. Is it on us? Our defense is moving back. It usually indicates it's on us, but the decision has not been made yet. We'll see what the refs have to say. So, unfortunately, a... Uh, face cage done by our own number 74 Josh Smith this means that um, it's an automatic first down for the Crusaders um, and a 15 yard penalty yes for the Stallions but as we have seen in previous games we surprisingly do well in our in our red zone in the red zone we tend to get a lot more stops than what than what people would expect us to I think Big Ben's back on the pitch as well oh Oh, it looks like there's oh, a false start on It Kiel. looks like there's like two or three false starts on Kill. I think one of the receivers was halfway down the pitch. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> key there is to always point, make sure it's them. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it was on Kill. Yeah, false start. False start by Kill. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Still first down. So this takes them down to the. Down into the Stallions into on the Stallions, Stallions 23, would you say? Uh, uh, 18, actually. Oh, 18. Sorry, I'm getting my what my sorry, my numbers wrong way around. My there. numbers completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Going Snaps, wrong way. See the, go 20. For the, pass. See the go 20. For the pass. Gets caught by number four heel. And a great, and a great joint effort there. Yes. There was like three of them. Goggles number 26, and looks like Ant Wallace again. Ant Wallace having a great game at the moment. Uh, down to the good defensive coaching. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we, ha again. we have had some great coaches this year. Yeah. I'll give them that. A lot, and the great thing is, it's actually a lot of Stallions alumni that come back to yes, coach the team. Yes. So, any Stallions alumni listening, come back and coach the team. You do a good job. <laughs> You'll set up. Snaps it. It's going for the pass. And he's got a scramble. Oh, yeah. And scramble. Aaron, Aaron. Aaron. Gets oh. the pass off. Oh, overthrows Luckily, it. the receiver was just a little bit too short. Yeah, just a bit. 
Sorry, oh, I, I should be saying unfortunately, unfortunately being impartial. Unfortunately, unfortunately they're a bit too short. It's just a bit lovely. overthrown. <laughs> Our D-line there got through, but looked a bit confused of where the ball was. A.A. Ron managed to, managed to chase there. down the QB. A bit too late, unfortunately. But this goes to show the pressure that we were putting up on them. Do you know the story of Leather Flores. Third and eight. Heel step on the ball. Ball is snapped. It's handed off. Running up the middle. Kier Bailey with the tackle. I think that was a one or two yard gain there. For both. There's a flag on the field. Not sure who fouled here. Like a face cage again. It was a face cage. Face cage by number 70. Number that's 70 against Carl Black. Yep. Carl Black. Josh Smith is take going back on in this place. This is where the Salians need to just have get get their get the composure back yeah. and stop making stop making silly mistakes. Getting a bit too excited right now with those two touchdowns. We don't want to let Keel score right now. And it looks like as well that if, if the Stallions are making those mistakes, they're getting instantly taken off. They are, yes. It's on our three-yard line. Ball is snapped. Passes into the end zone. Oh. It gets caught. It gets Heel caught. Touchdown. What? Oh. No. And it's incomplete. Incomplete. Well, we've got it on film if they want to watch it back. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless, it unless the cameras didn't follow it, but who knows? <laughs> well, you know, Staff's TV, you do a great job every year. Second and four. Well, four yards from our end zone and second down. The QB tried to do a uh, Patrick Mahomes there. He did a bit, yeah. He kind of, I think he kind of pulled off as well. Oh. QB's looking for the throw. Oh, and Al Wallace is intercepted again. Can he make it down the field? Can he make it down the field? Can he? Down. Can he, he, make it down the field? Can he it's he's going for it. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, I want it. I want. Oh. He unfortunately got slightly put his foot out of bounds there. We were so close to being able to go, and he's down to the 30, the 20, the 10. He managed to break at least two tackles there. I was really hoping I was going to be able oh, to yes. do that. I'm, a, I'm a, and maybe you in the second the half. Didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did. I wanted us to be there, jumping. And once again, is it, he can make a hat trick today. He could, yeah. Let's try. Let's let's see. I, I want to see, see a hat trick from. I want to see a hat trick. I want to see a hat trick from from all of, from both of our corners oh, yeah. and then even our safety. Let's get our safety they, involved. They definitely <laughs> seem to be favouring the left side here, throwing the ball cue. I think they've realised now they probably shouldn't throw it to the left side since Ant Wallace has yeah. now um, intercepted two. We managed to get it to the 27-yard uh, line. And it's first down. Snap is and good. it's a run. Simeon's it's a run through. Up the middle. Loss of yards for the Salians there, unfortunately. The and yes, a flag on the field. Let's see what the flag's for. The flag's for. Currently no indication on signals right now from right now the from, from the Stallions from offense. offense. It could just be a misthrown flag. It's happened before, hasn't it? It has happened before. Can't quite see whether referees are signaling. They're having a discussion, so obviously it's obviously it's something. It's something that Kiel's done from the looks of things. Offside Kiel. So that means a gain of, of five, five yards for the Salians. So thankfully that means that we haven't lost yards. Thankfully. thankfully. Making up here. Oh, there was a screen there. Unfortunately, Zach couldn't quite get the ball far enough for Simeon to catch. 
being chased by a three uh well that that is the plan three three uh, three crusaders <laughs> kill crusaders in so that kind of a play there if the salians line can can hold them off then we won't hopefully have that happen again that play right there is designed for that exact scenarios for the let the kill players go straight through joe townsend setting up but for this play let's see what happens Snap is good. Oh, there is a flag. Potential. False start. False start. Yeah. False start on us. False start. Stallions. There's a false start on number 19. So that's the running back Simeon. Yep. He's had a few in in the play, in when we were in postseason. Mm -hmm. Had a great few had games, great really, had, and he's a I'd say he complete rookie enough. this year. Oh yeah, complete oh, yeah. rookie this year. Um, um, made a standout performance. Ca came in, um, came into the team. Oh, snack run. Oh, Stanis were lucky there. Almost missed the interception. Zach rolled out to the right, threw it deep. Fortunately, Joey wasn't there. Unfortunately, miss snap as well. Yes, 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 snap. It looks like a change it personnel. Like personnel. It looks like it Simeon is coming is out and is being replaced by Nathaniel Wise. Nathaniel has been part of the team for the last two years. Yeah. Two yeah. years. Two years um, yeah. Been a great, great running back. Only just come back from injury, actually. Um, he is probably one of our fastest running backs. He reminds me of a bomber. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's for sure. Snap is good. And he's away, and he's Nathaniel. seen the hole, and he's going through it. He's going forward. That was a great block made there by number 87, Benjamin Cabinet. Boston Ben, as he's well known to all of us. Yeah, Boston Ben, as he is well known. There was a six yard gain there. Punt team is going out because it is now fourth and four. Stallion's first punt of the day. We've seen them kicking well all game so far. So. We're sure they can keep, up, sure the they can keep up the kicking game. Ben Cabman is our kicker for punt. He's actually a goalkeeper. He is. He's on scholarship here for football, believe it or not. Kick is away. Manages to hit the 20 yard line. And it's stopped, and it's by, stopped by, by Ben Hocking ben and Chris Middleton. Middleton. I have to say, Joe Townsend's snaps aren't quite on point at the moment. They're always a worry, aren't they? Long, any any form of snap, long snaps, yeah. just the normal snaps. They're always the part where things can go wrong. <laughs> and we are now into the second quarter. We've just seen them switch sides. Um, uh, setting up, yes, for the second quarter. It's been a surprisingly fast first quarter. It has. Yeah. Sure, it's not a running clock already. <laughs> Couple more touchdowns, maybe. It's only 13 nil and not 35 now. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. I'd let them give us that points if they wanted to. <laughs> if they want to, no. I'll happily if take 35 nil. Okay, okay, let's see Defensive what the second quarter is going to have in store. <laughs> and it's a run straight away. Manages to break through two tackles, but gets brought down. That was a good 15 yard gain? 15 yard gain. 15 yard gain there. That was a good run. Good run by Keel. Haven't seen that running back yet actually do much. No. I think I'm now giving the new running back a try. Maybe they realised that uh, they, they saw Simeon and Nathaniel and that and thought, oh, maybe we should give the little guy a try. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> the little guys are always the best running backs. <laughs> oh, that's what I know being a running back myself. Yes. It's, you can easily Smaller see. Smaller is better. It is. is. Slip through all those gaps. Ball is set. 
snaps is good. There is a flag. And there's a flag, like a so potential. I'm thinking a false start too. They don't throw the flag that quickly if it's not a false start. Yeah. I have to say that running back was on a mission there. So, uh, false I think the Stallions are going to need to look out for out for that running back yeah. now. It might be that they're going to need to do a bit more to kind of close those close those holes. Defense needs to uh, hinge a bit more on the O line there. And it was a false start by Keel. We are now on Keel's 30 yard line. Still got two in the backfield. And they give it to the big guy this time. And nearly gets tripped. And there we go. Oh, and a big hit by Jesse. That was a good hit by 98. That was nice. That was nice. I heard it. Desi's got some vegan powers. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought that I'd see the day that a D lineman would be vegan. I mean, the story is actually he turned vegan when he went to uni because it was cheaper to <laughs> eat himself, basically. And to be fair, all that we see and eat on the sideline is grapes, honey, and granola. Granola. Well, he drowns himself in honey, that's for sure. And then the odd chicken burger when you travel away to Edinburgh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why he's not a true vegan. <laughs> it's only if it's convenient. For him. <laughs> convenient veganness. Convenient veganness, yes. Okay, it's second and 11. The ball is set. Snap is good. He's looking for the throw. They're going for the pass. Oh, and it's a long one. Throws deep. Number four catches it. Catch inbounds by number four. 24. Yeah. It was uh, a 20 yard throw there. So, Kiel have now started Kiel to throw to the other side away from Ant Wallace, who has been getting the interceptions. One thing I have to say Would it be fair to say that Stallions have maybe switched off a little bit? They, they've so, gone, yeah. we're ahead and. Yeah. I think uh, get a bit too relaxed at the moment. It usually I think happens. that what they need to start thinking in the head mentality wise is we're actually losing 13 0, not winning 13 0. Yes. And yes. then. Switch back on again. Yeah. Back One thing I have to say though about the pitch is it is uh, <laughs> 20 yards short. So it is 20 yards short. I never Kiwi noticed sneak that. Up the middle, gets taken down by is that Gaz Phillips? Yes. And oh, Gaz. I think there was a Garen tackle there, but I saw Another Gaz on top. that's never <laughs> leaving Stas. Oh God. No. He's always on the part time Masters course, and I think it's, this is his actual final year. I'm not. Is sure. this his actual final year? Probably. It's like me, I say every year is my final year. <laughs> Find a new course. I've said that this year is my final year. We'll see, though. <laughs> you just can't leave, can you? Kiel's offense is setting up. They've had a good. They've had a good long run here. Yeah. Oh. Run up the middle. And a missed tackle, but Goggles gets him down. That's a nice tackle, boy. Oh, the ref got a bit in the way there. It's always the problem. Our blitz tactic unfortunately didn't work on that one. No. The uh, running back still got through and got past. That was a it's first down again. It's on our 13 yard line. Yes, 13, 14, somewhere around, somewhere around there. there yeah. <laughs> Give or take. Unfortunately, we can't. We, we don't have a screen in front of us no, to fully see. We can't really move down and up and down the pitch that well. No, it's not like the NFL college football, unfortunately. No, no. We don't have all those gadgets. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Snap is high. It's thrown. And it's thrown. But is brought down. Bye. I'm going to say goggles again. Goggles again, yeah. Again, yeah. It? No, it no. No. I can't quite see the number. 28. Please, that's Reese. I think it is Reese. We'll go with 28. We can't quite see. Unfortunately, there's a sea of numbers, and all the numbers and red look rather similar. <laughs> We're all relatively same height. If anybody wants to uh, fund an NFL-style uh, setup for media, I'd love you forever. Then we might actually be able to. <laughs> we might be able to properly make my day. Properly see everything. So it's about second and two. Yeah, second and two, I'd say. On our seven yard line. And they've gone for the run. Run left, run left. Running to the outside. And he's Gets brought taken down, down by, by Donovan by and Goggles. Goggles. It was a hit him in the head. There's a flag on the field. Oh, is, yes. What's the flag on the field for? It's by the line. It's by the line. So it's, it's going to be something to do with holding. It gets a bit messy in the uh, trenches there. 
We'll see what the ref has to say. And it is and holding it is against Keel. Yeah. We're just too good at this. <laughs> Eagle eye vision. That's what it is. We've been <laughs> watching it too long. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> And they are quickly, they quickly are setting quickly up, which setting means up. Stallion's defence need to set up quickly. <laughs> and it's a pass, and they've got it over. And it I don't dropped. even know what happened there. Was it blocked, or did he just no, kind he of just kind bounce of caught it, it off? It was like maybe, not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't want maybe to catch this one. Catch this, one. <laughs> this isn't my time. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen a few of those on our team. I've seen a fair few of those on our team. I'm shocked that Joey can catch as well as he can. It normally bounces off. I mean, he goes for this weird bucket pose. Play it in there. Whenever that happens with most people, when we go to do their arms, somehow yeah. Joey manages to somehow stop that, even manages. though with his zero muscly arms. He is a twiggle. <laughs> sorry, Joey, we're <laughs> not sorry. We Joey. think you're great. <laughs> oh, and Chris oh, Milton is there. Breaks and the line. Oh, oh, and he's is he down? He's is holding he on. He's down? not letting him he's, go. He did well he holding did on well. there. To be well. fair, Chris, Chris Milton is a difficult well. guy to like to try and let go of. He's so an aggressive old man. So <laughs> he is. Oh, if he hears you say <laughs> that. I will gladly say that. <laughs> Chris Chief. Milton, one of our, to be fair, we forgot to mention Chris at the start. Chris is one of our standout. I think it's because he's that good that we just, just you just like expect, expect him, it. you expect him to be good every yeah. game. I think he's one of those guys that has just performed so well all season and every season he's been always with the Stallion so far. Yeah, you, you know when Chris is angry, let's just yes, say that. Yes. You always know. Okay, so they have managed to move them back by a good, like, 15 yards. Yes, it's now fourth and 20. So he's going to pass, pass it. Pass. It's a deep one. It's a deep one, and it's... It looks like flags Oh, and there's flags everywhere. And there's flags everywhere. Another sassy flag. I love oh, a good yeah. sassy flag. Hey, <laughs> some of these refs, they can, they can throw it. <laughs> so... Was it a catch or was it not a catch? That is the question. To catch or not to catch? <laughs> but he threw it into triple coverage there. He did throw it into triple coverage. I was quite shocked that the, that the Salians guys didn't jump more. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I just heard goggles screaming yes. I... Like he's, he's sprinting off, but he's kind of not waiting for what actually is being yeah. said because the refs are still <laughs> discussing. <laughs> Bit eager. <laughs> we love his eagerness, though. Oh, Always like excited to play. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like pushing the back. Oh, a block in the back. Pass interference. Oh. Offense. Okay, so sorry, not okay, a push so in the back or a block in the no back, problem. pass interference against Keel. Yes. yes. Which is a bit strange because. Because <laughs> <back. laughs> it's a bit strange because normally, whenever you get a pass interference, it's against the defense, not the offense. Usually, but, yeah. but this pass time interference have, uh, against the offense. The of our offense player <laughs> catching that ball. I mean, they did throw it into triple coverage. He, yeah, yeah, they it, it was probably. Uh, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're kind of asking for something with the fact they threw into triple coverage. So we are setting up. On our three-yard line. This could be an interesting one. We'll see what be. we'll see what we do out with this because yeah. be nobody really here, likes to start on their three-yard oh, line. No, second, second, two sorry, yard two, line. two, two, two yards. Well, no one likes to start on their two-yard two line. Yeah. <laughs> and we are starting on the two-yard line. Joey rules. Joey does not rule. His catching could be better. Yeah, <laughs> his catching technique could be better. That too. <laughs> And we're going for the going pass. For a pass. It's a deep pass. Oh, it was a pass to Stewart, our resident Spaniard. Our resident Spaniard. Stu is incredibly fast, though. So. Stu, yeah. I mean, you saw his speed just then. Yeah. And to be fair, he's only been training properly at receiver for the last couple of training sessions. Yeah, he's, he's, he's mainly he, he been focused on his kicking, hasn't he? Yeah, he was very persistent to be the only kicker in the team. <laughs> Because he started off as a QB, he started off training QB with Zach. Yeah. Didn't quite like it. So no, kicker. kicker. And has now decided, I want to, I want to try my hand at receiver. Yeah. So Joey McKenzie is now back in and replacing Stuart. 
Snap is good. Snap Zach's throwing it. And Zach's throwing it. And Joey is there. Joey. And Joey. Oh. oh. Sorry, I had it there. This is what we mean by the catching technique. Just bounce off his chest. <laughs> he dove for it. Fortunately, it bounced out. It was a good throw, though. So, throw. still third and ten on the Stallions. Two yard line. We will see what they can do. Oh, Kyle Tom as she went through. Down there. Timeout's been taken timeout's from been the looks of it by the Stallions. It's the first timeout of three. The first time out of the half for both, for both teams. That was just not necessary. The Stallions are currently um, watering Evan. Apparently, he's a plant. I'm, I'm very dehydrated <laughs> right now. I, I would have preferred it if they actually gave me a ball. Still time out. Game so far, 13-0. A good start, yes. Yep. Slow down definitely in the second yes. half. Yes. This seems to be a repeat of our uh, regular season. Yeah, they seem yeah. to come out with a really strong start and they go, oh, we're winning, yeah. and then slow down a bit. But it's like, no, keep up that energy throughout the whole thing. That's yeah. what you should be doing. I think we only had three scores in our regular season in the first half, so this might be the same. I think that uh, team talk at half time will definitely, oh, put definitely. Some, put some fear into them yeah. and make them go out and score more. Joe is set. Snap is good. And Zach's rolling left, right. Zach's done well to get run. out of that. He's done just well. Stays in bound. Oh, he just gets pushes out. Not sure how far he made it. I think he just shy of the first down. We'll see where the ball gets placed. It yeah. does. From the look of the referee over on the kill sideline, it looks like two that yards it's short potentially. two. Yeah. Punt teams. But on. Zach Green did very well in that situation he did very well. with. Um, he does love to run if he's ever allowed to. For someone coming in straight away to get him, they did very well there too. Uh, oh, one yard. One yard I'm surprised short. we're not going for it. But it's understandable as to why you wouldn't go for it at this, yeah, in this, this position. This game, at yeah. this point in the game, no with this far it. down the field. Yeah. <laughs> fingers crossed. Got to play it safe. Good. Don't want to let don't want to let Crusader score, do yeah. you? If we were further up the field, I think we would have gone for it. Oh, sure. Oh. Kick is not very long. Oh, oh. get it! Oh, kill and, player the, oh, and the kill to player touched it. the ball. He fumbled it. We jumped on the ball. Kill player trying to say he didn't do it. Kill player trying to say he didn't touch the ball. He definitely, definitely did. did. Dropped it. <laughs> and we managed to recover it. Once again, we apologise for any language you might hear. Um, that isn't um, nice. <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, we can't control they, the crowd. They, they are old boys, so you can Surprisingly, Stallions still have the ball after a bad snap, yeah. a bad punt, and then... Just lucky uh, that just Kiel decided was, to do what they did. <laughs> it was lucky that even though Kiel was shouting away, the guy decided to stand so under it nope, and bluff it. thinking that was his ball. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, a lot of people probably would have thought that was their ball, but... Just got to execute it, don't you? Oh, yes. Ball is set. Snap is good. Zach's and he's looking for the pass. And Zach's going for it, it to, Joe. to Joey. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was unfortunate. I mean, there is yep. a flag, is a and flag I'm pretty sure that that is a pass interference as one of Joe McKenzie's arms was being held down, obviously, by, uh, the kill by, cornerbacks. by one of the kill, kill DBs. <laughs> and the crowd are definitely getting into this game, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> I'd say it's just our old boys really getting into this game. <laughs> yeah, the old boys are getting into the game. <laughs> We're probably about three beers in already. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down for the Stallions. Good start. I mean, That's from favorable, <laughs> favorable for us. It's, it's very interesting because from what happened down the other end of the field with that punt situation oh, yeah. to now this situation. Now, be in their <laughs> now being in the Crusaders side of the field. Yeah. Oh, 37 yards away from their goal line. Let's try and get another touchdown for the, yeah. the end of the. That'd be good. For the end of the half. And, and it's a run. To Simeon. Oh, oh, unfortunately, he trips. Simeon tried to follow his blockers, unfortunately ended up tripping over the blocker. We're now second 
and 14. Second and 14, the offense is now setting up. Snap is good. Zach rolling right. Rolling out, and he's, he's going to run, and he's going to run for it. He had a good gap, and he's Runs gone for it. And he's Manages to get... About a nine, nine yard gain? Nine what about the 30? I'd say we're on the 32. Yeah. It's or maybe 33. We're on the 33. Third and five, third and six. Okay, Salians lining up again. It's about third and six. Yeah, I'd say third and six. Good snap. And Zach goes back to pass. Looks and like he's a screen the ball. once again, but no one there. Unfortunately, only linemen there. We've only, only seen a few linemen actually go for the ball, pick it up and, and run yeah. this season. Um, you don't expect a lineman to really have their arms out ready to catch no, a ball, do you? The, uh, <laughs> running back was meant to be behind them, catching that ball. Not sure what happened there. So fourth, it's... Fourth and six. Fourth and six, and are we going for it? No, we're going for a timeout first. So Taking a timeout, going to decide, decide whether through the timeout it. as to whether we're going to go for it or not, yeah. and we'll see what happens. I say Stuart can kick this if you want to go for a field goal. He's got a leg on him. He does have a leg on him. A has, leg he, on has he? Has he? It's has he kicked this far yet this season? I know he's been practicing. Yeah. He's got the wind with him as well. True, because the wind is blowing yeah. towards. But I doubt they'll go for it. Go for a field goal. The end zone that we are that we're going for. But yeah, I doubt we're going to go for a field goal. I think that if we're going to do anything, we're going to go for it. Yeah. Chris Middleton there explaining that he's good. <laughs> I think it's about four minutes left in the half. And to be fair, even if we if we go for it, and even if we don't yeah. get it, it's not a bad field That's position. It's like we said earlier, if we had gone for it down there, like what I said, we, we might have, we could have tried. Could have um, tried, but that was That would have been a bad decision, whereas this, not so much. Yeah. I not mean, so much a bad decision, more we'll of a good decision. We'll definitely be seeing more of this kind of scenario if you are a fourth down definitely going for it in the second half yes i think in the second half we're going to put everything out on the field yeah because i think the whole team know this is their final game of the season this is some players actual final game for stallions as well it is until until old boys until old boys yes <laughs> but old boys isn't but really a game it's, it's, it's more it's more fun it's more fun it's not quite the same as well okay the ball's set it's got Kier bailey in the backfield zach green ready to set the ball good snap and he throws it. To Blosh. Oh. oh. And it just comes off of his fingertips. So, defense are now back on the field. Zach Green looking a bit frustrated, but a great throw by Zach Green there. It was just unfortunate that Josh Badu could not bring that ball in. Let's hope the defense can do what they've been doing all game, get the ball back, not allow Kiel to get any yards. I do have faith. Big Ben is on there. Got Chris, Desi, Kier. I think we've we've gone back to got the. Ben. Is Ben Hocking on? I think we've gone back to the start, the starting setup. I think. I think so too. Uh, I think we're no, with. Ben Hocking's not on. I think he with was. With what's been on. happening during the game so far, I think that they realised we need to go back to the starting setup. Yeah. As we dipped a bit towards the start of the first, uh, the, sorry, the, towards the start of the second quarter. Yeah. Okay, Kiel is set. And they got two in the backfield. It's a good snap. Hands off to the running. Oh no. Fooled me there. That fooled me as well. It was so a quick throw to their uh, receivers, but fortunately was dropped. Yeah, number four bounced off the ground, came up into his arms, unfortunately. <laughs> Our old boys there getting very involved. Uh, once again, well, we apologise for any language they're, that you they're might hear that you find offensive. Their kill centre is one of our old players who used to play for us. So Yes, uh, the kill centre is actually one of our old boys. So you can It's run a run by number 21. Gets brought down by or Donovan. Is, it, is this number 21 or number 22? Um, number 20 something. <laughs> 20 something, yes. <laughs> it's the small one that's... That's 21. Managing it was 21. to zip yeah. through. 
Donovan made the tackle there nicely. It's made now third and six, I believe. Our defense widening out a bit more. So turn Snap the backfield and they're passing. The it's caught, but there's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. We'll see who that's against. One of our coach, one of the Stallions coaches on the sideline is indicating that it might be against Keel. I mean, they would do anyway. We never want to <laughs> against ourselves. I mean, yeah, you would, you would never, you would never flag you it would, against you yourself. Would never, no. And it was, it was holding against number 53, <laughs> which is our <laughs> old boy, <laughs> Ed. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather comical because our old boys just stood on the sideline shouting. It, it was his old coach as well. It was his old coach. It was. His old coach sideline stood on the sideline. <laughs> I think it's about that's taken. Now. That's taken the Crusaders back. To about the 26 line, 26 yeah, yard 25, line. 26. Sorry, I can't stop laughing it's now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's around about third and 15 right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Third and 15. Kill still on offense. Salians on defense. If you're just joining us, it's 13 nil. No running backs in the backfield though. They're going for the pass. Oh, and the QB the QB's rolls out. running it. Kiwi's running it, and Kier ba oh, Kier oh. Bailey missed the tackle and gets taken down in the end by number 50, Chris Middleton. Nice good up, Chris there, finishing the tackle. He made a, uh, what's that, about a seven, about eight yard a, gain? Yeah, eight yard gain, we'll yeah. go for eight yards. Made an eight yard gain, they're now they on the out? 35 yes. yard they are going line. For punt, it looks like. QB has gone off onto the sideline. It makes sense. Yeah. They, why, why would you, if you miss this, why would you want to give Stallions exactly, yeah. this sort of field position? Because they would be we in kill, they'd, you'd be in kill territory. They'd be able to then score a lot easier than oh, if yeah. you take them down the field by punting it. Yes. Kiel's still setting up. And they're not faking it. They're going away. for the punt. And it rolls out. They only it managed to take it down to about the 32-yard yeah, line. Yeah, it was only about a 15-yard kid. 15 yard kick into the Stallions 32. Yes, uh, was, was the so Stallions now back on offense. Defense managed to hold Kiel off once again. Yeah. No scores from Kiel so far. 13 points on the ball from Stallions. But I, I have to say, Kiel have had they've, they've been doing they've had some good runs there. They they've, have they've made progression. I mean they seem they to be waking up a bit actually. Yeah, I think that they, they needed to see what what Stallions have done it in postseason. So yeah. obviously Keel have had a bit of time off. They finished their season well before the Stallions finished theirs due to Stallions getting into the postseason, yeah. getting into the semi-finals, which meant that Stallions have worn themselves out a little bit more than probably what Keel have. I think yeah. that Keel needed to see what Stallions were gonna do, what they were gonna come out with to then be able to go, right, yeah. this is what now we're gonna do to come back yeah. at you. I mean, so far this game has definitely looked like a repeat of uh, our league league game in yeah December the match up time. in december it's yeah. it's a definite repeat we'll see what happens, see what happens. in the second half yeah. i think because that'll be where stallions i think will want to score the most All right, we need to make up those points and Zach david's going deep. for it oh. that was definitely i think it was a. I mean that was uh i mean we're, Aaron, we're, that, we're, was, that was that was our run not that oh i thought sorry i thought that was david no. that's my that's my Coach, fault sorry was, uh, sorry aran Route was run wrong, I think. Um, however, stood on the sideline and watching that, there was some definite arms. There always is arms. Holding onto our arms. Well, I'm not trying to insinuate that it was a pass interference or anything, but you know. <laughs> Benefit of the doubt. Oh, yeah. Zach's oh, and it's outright. Zach's running it, and he's managed to find a gap, oh. and he's still got it. Still taken down. It was a bit of a helmet helmet collision there. Oh, and a handshake as they both get up, which was quite nice. Very sportsmanlike. Zach's always like that. Yeah, Zach, Zach's a good egg. He always uh, <laughs> gives a pat on the back for a, well, for a good hit. I found I quite liked it um, in the, I think it was the, the Leeds game. Oh, Where, yeah. who was it? Who was it between? Oh. 
I'm trying to remember now, I sorry. I, though, yes. But basically, one of the Stallions players um, went in to hit one of the one of the Leeds players, and one of the Leeds players openly got up and went, yeah, that was a good hit. <laughs> I mean, openly. There, there, there's, there's recognition in the game if you get there a good a, hit. If you get a good hit, so if you manage to take someone out, the person that gets taken out will openly and happily say to you, Good when hit. they when they have enjoyed being hit by yeah. you. I mean, <laughs> you, don't, you don't come play this one to build a patty cake, do you? <laughs> um, and to be honest, I've even had a couple. So old boys. Oh. Old where boys. where Jonathan decided oh. to send me horizontal. Old boys <laughs> is, is another animal altogether. However, held on to the ball. You did hold. You uh, good <laughs> ball security. Held on to the ball. It's good coach on there. Jonathan now plays for the London Olympians. He does, yes. Um, and uh, from what himself. I've been told, he is still an absolute beast. Oh, well, I'd, I'd never <laughs> doubt that. Stallion's offense is set. One in the backfield. Zach Green lined up at QB. Motion. And Hand it's round. Kier. And Kier's, Kier's QBing. Oh, and unfortunately, a, a slight miss throw. Yeah. This was a trick play we uh, planned what? in training. But I liked that though. It I think that we can use that again in the second quarter. In training, that was it went well. It worked yeah. pretty well. But yeah. I mean, if we can get that going again and it oh, works. Yeah. It was a slight miss though. It was a bit miss. too far far um, towards the sideline. Yeah. But no. Next time, next time. Next time, next time. <laughs> um, so Stallion's now punting. So Kiel will be um, on offense potentially. I mean, unless. Unless they mess up again. Unless what happens last time but happens I again. I think they might learn from their mistake. Oh, fuck you up for the side. Once again, apologies for any language that you might hear on the sideline. This is completely live. Zach, Zach does get a bit heated when people don't listen um, to him. And that is a great punt by Boston Ben. Oh, bounces inside as well. Oh, and Kier decided to just take out a guy. I mean, it's... As you do. It's... Any, every man for himself out there on yeah, special I mean, teams, it is legal. It is. You are allowed to hit people until the whistle goes. Yes. So... Kier did his job. People need to keep their heads on the swivel <laughs> on special teams. You can get laid out. I have been. I was blindsided. I was sprinting to go and tackle somebody and then completely taken out without There's a, reason why a I don't single notice. <laughs> Lyman can't run You'd that well. You'd be even more injured. <laughs> both ACLs oh, well, gone. Both ACLs gone, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay so, so Kiel are back on to offense. They are um, on their nine yard line. Nine, yeah. I mean, that, that was, was a good, a good, was good it was a great punt. It's this is bounced inside and step out. So, yeah, so uh, Boston Ben's background, goalkeeper over in America, comes yep. over here as goalkeeper for the men's football first team yeah. um, and He's decided to, to yeah, decided to, you know, try American football. And yeah. he was he was our first American on the team to actually have never played American football before he'd come here. He said well, that he tried it a little he, bit at junior he, level. He said, it, he said he was a tight end, but we found <laughs> out that he was actually a little bit uh, misleading there. Oh, there's... Oh, We'll see what, what the flag's for. A couple of sassy flags for The thrown. snap was good. QB threw the ball. Unfortunately, it was uh, incomplete. But yes, there is a flag on the play. The second but quarter seems to be a lot longer than the first. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Maybe the a restaurant actually stopped the A lot more incompletions. <laughs> yeah. But as you can tell, defense is creating a heck of a lot of pressure for them. Because that could have potentially been where it was thrown near the line. Could have been holding, but it also could have potentially been... Um, Intentional grounding. Yeah, could be. Um, intentional grounding is where the QB will intentionally throw the ball towards the floor to make sure that it, it is incomplete and it won't get picked. Yep. But there is no receiver in the area to even prove or show that they We're are willing to. to catch the ball or even trying to get it close to receiver. Yep. The D-line doing a good job there at the pressure. It sounds like it's holding. Holding, Oh. Yep. Holding against the offense, so holding against Kiel's offensive line from yeah. the looks of it. They are being moved, they are on now their three yard line, looks like it. Well, our D line right now Josh Smith, Big Ben, Desi, and Chris Middleton keeping up a hell of a lot of pressure. Kiel is set, snap is good. And the Kiwis QB decide to run it. Bounces managed outside. to get round and managed to get around a couple of guys and is brought down eventually. It was a nice gang tackle by uh, Donovan Gaz and uh, Ant. Ant. <laughs> Ant still somehow getting in there. Ant still managed to get in there even after slightly missing the tackle. Yeah, <laughs> he, he held on by one hand. Oh, it's half time now. Oh, and it's 
that is half time. Unfortunately, we didn't get a two minute warning, but um, it is half time. It is 13 0 half time at Kill Crusaders versus the Staffordshire Stallions, and Stallions are winning 13 0. We're going to pass you back to our lovely presenters. Your lovely and cold presenters. <laughs> Uh, half time that came as a bit of a surprise we weren't expecting that uh, half time uh, to go we swapped round it's a bit our like Anthem deck <laughs> we shouldn't be this way round um, I, I had the blue right at the start of it. actually that's, that um, matches your suit so I think you should keep that yeah one. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep, I'll keep <laughs> the blue for the, for the rest of the week um, so 13-0 at half time we've been watching and we haven't really we, we can't really follow it <laughs> Because we're not too sure. It was, what's a, it was going a very, on. very quick start. He scored yeah. the first. Well, we scored all 13 points within, within and, the first five, ten minutes. Yeah, and then it um, just slowed down. Um, I think in, we've in got the technical last. issues. <laughs> um, apologies for the technical um, difficulties and the uh, the shouting, the bad language. We do apologise for for that if uh, you heard it and you were offended. Um, so, uh, yeah, 13 nil. As you say, it was a fast start and it just slowed down, didn't it? Well, I think um, we got uh, I think it was a touchdown from Kier Bailey. Yeah. Or um, a touchdown from McIntyre, number 82. Two. No, 82. Yeah, 82, 82. for Kier Bailey. And, and you know something? I missed both of the touchdowns because I was moving my car. Really? <laughs> There's a shorter walk. From, from over there to there, it's a shorter walk, and I'm going to get my coat because it's a bit cold here uh, at Staffordshire University today. Um, so we've got other sports as well happening um, throughout the week. We've got the men's football tomorrow at half past seven, uh, women's rugby at half past five on Tuesday, and then we've got the uh, Wednesday, we've got just a packed sport. Obviously, American football is going on now. What sport are you most looking forward to? I think the men's football is always a big one. Yep. Um, in terms of... Um, what I'm expecting from varsity, how exciting um, varsity is. I, I think basketball is definitely going to be one of the most exciting sports to watch. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of things on Facebook and social media, um, especially posters around the uni. So I'm quite excited to um, watch that. Um, but that and men's football, I think. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a bit of a shame that the uh, men's rugby, but I would like to point out that the women's rugby is going to be just as exciting. Yeah. Um, and I'm quite excited to. I think. I'm, am I presenting that or am I commentating on You're that? You're commentating. I'm commentating You're on commentating. that. So I'm quite excited to commentate on that on Tuesday afternoon, I believe. I've just been speaking to Sam from the Sports Centre, and he said, for definite, we're going to win four. That for four. He, he four. is confident that we're going to win four sports. How many so in total? Football, um, well, women's volleyball doesn't go towards the overall vo uh, varsity score for this year because it's uh, a new sport. So they're yeah. not they're not going to say right. Um, Jonathan, who is the uh, head of the sports centre at Staffs, uh, he's like gone to Keel and said, look, we've got a new sport coming in. We're not going to not going to count it towards the overall score unless it comes back for a new year um, because it's pointless having a new sport and then coming back in a year's time and going, well, we're not doing that now. So, um, yeah. It, so, hopefully, uh, he, he thinks we're going to win volleyball. I didn't quite catch the other two sports we're going to win. Um, could be netball. I think we've got a good chance at netball, potentially. Yeah. Um, and basketball. 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 Futsal. That's the other sport. So, netballs and maybe. I reckon the four are going to be American football, which we are winning at the moment, half-time. Yep. And futsal. Volleyball and basketball. Yeah, I I, I would agree. Um, I know the men's football that's not likely. Um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the boys can produce a, somewhat of a shock. Um, Kiel have actually came close to producing a few shocks here. Actually, yeah. um, they have had the ball in the final ten yards quite a few times. Um, final twenty more often than not. The entire game has. The entire second quarter was pretty much spent, um, except from the end, towards our own um, our own half, and it's certainly the end of the first quarter as well. But, but when but when Keel get the ball, they don't seem like they're going to score. It just seems like they just got the ball, and they're just chucking it, and obviously the guy's dropping it and it's I going think that nowhere. I down then. to the brilliant defensive plays from um, the staffs team. Yeah, um, down to brilliant coaching as well. I I can clearly I can see the defense team as having a really good game um, and also number 14 
cannot remember his name. <laughs> no. Number 14 on our side. Um, he's uh, taken the ball out of our own final 10 yards, final 20 yards. He's carried the ball superbly um, throughout the game. Um, big shout out to him, but can't remember his name. <laughs> no. We'll, we'll, we'll find um, out his name. We, we, we should really have been given a team sheet before yeah. the before the yeah. start of the day. But um, that's something to remember for the next few sports. Yeah. For definite. Um, um, a few interesting decisions as well. Uh, there was a pass interference um, and it went against the offensive team and it normally goes for the offensive team. I heard Tash and Evan um, talk about that. So a few interesting decisions from, from the referees this afternoon down here at Staffordshire University uh, for the first uh, event of uh, Varsity 2019 between Staffs and Kiel. First official event. First official event. Yeah, <laughs> We've already lost We've already lost. We've the already rugby. lost one before Varsity has even started. Yeah. But hopefully we can get a um, on the official Varsity score sheet yeah. before the end of. The um, I love how like when. Obviously, I've never watched American football before. This is literally the first game of American football I've ever watched in my life. I don't know about you, if you have. I love how the when they're defending, they they make their own team chant. They don't need fans. It is almost like they are their own fans yeah. in a way. They are hyping their own team. That's what. That's one of the things that I've um, really enjoyed about the day. I think the staff's team have been really behind each other. They've been. They've done really well, encouraging each other. Even, even some of the fans that have turned out getting loud on the, the sidelines, which is really good to see yeah. and hear as well. Um, and it must be very motivating towards the players. Um, and to be honest, I I couldn't have asked for a better turnout. It's yeah, really good. As really the Stallions good. walk past us from their half-time team talk, their half-time refreshments, I'm hoping they've had their oranges. I don't no. know if you do that in American football. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be an interesting second two quarters, isn't it? I'm very intrigued to see if um, staffs come out of the blocks flying as they did um, at the start of the first half, at the start of the first quarter. Um, as we say, they scored all 13 points within the first 5-10 yeah. minutes so it'll be exciting to see if they can replicate that start at the start of the second half um, but I think what they've been doing towards um, half time was they were slowing down play a bit more Yeah, they did look like they were going for another touchdown towards the end but they were slowing it down playing calmly not going for anything not taking too many risks which of course they didn't need to No, with that 13-0 comfortable lead Yeah, um, and I think they should be able to see this out. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. You probably uh, just jinx it. <laughs> you probably just jinx it. Uh, but as as we said before as well, staffs are the favourites for this for this game today, and they're proving it at the moment. As you say, a thirteen point gap isn't a big gap. No, it's only two touchdowns, but um, and obviously the extra points. Um, so do you think staffs will come out now and and attack a little bit more? I think so. I think um, we know they are. The best team on paper, yeah. Um, Form-wise as well, um, one of the best teams, uni teams in the country, of yeah. course. Um, after this season, and um, well, based on this season, yeah. And I think um, th now that they've had their break, it's time to come out the block flying and grab a few touchdowns and ultimately um, comfortably secure the first win of Varsity 2019. So start the, the second half as he started the first half and uh, hopefully they can hang on a little bit and uh, and win Varsity uh, American Football 2019. Of course they won last year uh, when it was over at Keel Uni and I'm just trying to get the eye, uh, eyes of one of the players so they can come over and have a quick chat with us if they're in the mood for that. Um, but I don't think they are. I think they're... Uh, Getting prepared for the, the second half. They're in the zone, aren't they? They are in the zone. They're definitely in the zone, but we'll definitely bring over a few players at the end of the game for a quick chat. Um, We're going to try and get an interview with a captain. We are. <laughs> the number A to Joe Mafferty. Yes. yes. Hi, right. Good touchdown. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't see it, but <laughs> uh, how's number it going? 14. Uh, it's right. not too bad. Um, we, as a team, I think, will admit we're definitely not playing up to our potential at the moment. We, we, uh, we should be quite far ahead. And, but the second half, it'll be a, be a different game. We're ready. We're ready. What's the plan for the second half? Hold or attack? Oh, no, we're going to attack. We're, we're burying these guys. We're burying them. We're, we're burying them. Number 40, sorry. I, um, I did see you carry the ball quite a few times. You've, you've been having a good game. Um, so, would you like to tell us your name? 
Oh, I'm Zach Green. <laughs> and Zach, you've had a you've had a brilliant game with us as far as we can see on the sideline. I think all the lads have had a brilliant game. Um, what do you think is um, you've been doing so well as a team in the first half? Um, we're just very well fundament fundamentals. We, we we seem to glue together really well, but that's also what's been our downfall. We've had such good chemistry all season, and at just at parts, we've not connected with each other, and that's one of our biggest downfalls. But on the first touchdown, it was just trusting Joey, just throw it to an area and he catches it. So we just need more of that, just trusting each other. You came out of the block so fly uh, so quickly in the first half. Are you going for a very quick start in the second half as well? Yeah, very quick. We're hoping we get the ball back in the first half. So we're, we're expecting to go the length of the field and score. And hopefully every time we get the ball, we can score after this. Great to see it. Great to hear it. Cheers, guys. Good luck. So they're, they're going to bury these guys. So Staffs are going to bury them. Intriguing words from our uh, captain. captains there. Yeah. Um, as they get ready, warming up. We're having a run and a clap. So uh, just warming up, obviously loosening them legs a little bit more uh, after the half-time uh, break. Clearly going for it. I think yeah. that's the message we got from the captains yeah. there. So it'll be very interesting to see if they do go for it. And Barry Keel. I think Keel won't be happy with their first half performance and maybe they'll be looking to change a few things. What, what do you think they'll yeah, be looking Yeah, and I think staffs have got to be careful that they don't attack too much and let Keel in yeah. because one touchdown and Keel are back in this. And um, obviously it's a cliche, but the next touchdown is is important, I think. If, if staffs can get it, I think they will uh, push on and, uh, and and go for the win uh, and, and, and uh, bury them, as they as say. someone, well, both of us have uh, not watched... Um, too much American football, it must be said. What do you think Kiel would be looking to change um, at the start of the second half? Um, ball retention, I think, is, is their key. Um, they've had a few uh, offensive um, plays and they've just not caught the ball. And I think if they could catch the ball a bit more, then I think they would score more. I think, I think both teams could do that. I think that's well, yeah. the message for both teams. I, there was a play about five minutes before uh, the half-time break uh, where the, the ball was played over and if he caught it he would have been through he was yeah. that close to goal he would have been through for the touchdown it would have been we would have been sat in here with a with a bigger score and it was, was a not. very clear message from uh, Zach Green uh, number 14 get the ball to Joey McEntee and he will uh, he will catch it and he will score which he did yeah and maybe he's the danger man to look out for I, I remember uh, Tash mentioning him earlier as one of the danger men yeah. along with the other scorer. Um, I, I just intrigued to see if they're going to look out to pick out for him, pick, um, pick a ball out for him at the start of the second if, half. If that's the, the tactic, game. I think that's what they'll do. And I think I think they can do it. I, I genuinely think that they will bury them because they're, they're confident. They know they're not playing at their full potential. They've just admitted it uh, a few moments ago to us. And... You know, I think if they do play to their potential, you know, this is a team that won varsity last year. They've won, they beat them in December. They've also got to the to the finals, um, the the national finals this this year as well. So they are the team in form. I can't see why they can't beat them. Very interesting. Um, can't can't seem to find our commentators anywhere. No, oh, there's one. There, there's one. Do come over and have a word? So. As someone that's um, played American football the entire season for staffs, what do you think uh, staffs would be looking to do differently um, at the start of the second half? Um, well, the O-line at the moment has not been really doing its job. Like They're not making holes for the running backs. I don't know if it's down to tiredness or what. It's uh, This year so far, the line has actually been the best part, and I don't know what's really happened with them, but it's... It's going to be nothing much has been going on. I mean, I know on defense the DBs have been beaten deep quite a few times, so it's just being aware where the ball's going, staying in their coverage. And but I don't know. It's 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 hard to say really. It's historically Stallions don't wake up till the second half, <laughs> so it's it's been been that case, and it's kind of been proven here where we slow down after the two scores. We heard earlier from uh, Zach. He um, described. He, he said that one of the tactics that staffs were saying, uh, staffs were using was that um, 
get the ball to Joe McAtee and he will catch it and he will score, which he did once. Oh, yeah. Is he is he the team's Odell Beckham Jr.? <laughs> I, I would say so, yeah. He definitely does the dives and the over-the-head <laughs> backward catches. Yeah, I'd agree with that statement, yeah. yeah. Um, we've just been speaking to, to Joey. He said staffs weren't playing to their potential. Do you agree with that? Yes, it sounds really bad, um, but... I've seen them play better, but also heard about better performances. So this year, especially when they got to the um, postseason, um, their first game, they ended up playing against second seeds, Edinburgh. Um, and they were pretty much expected to come out with a loss. Like when you looked at the um, the eighth seed who played the top seed, Leeds, who we played against in our semi-final, um, it was like they, they lost something like 42-0, I think. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they lost 42 nil against the top seeds. Whereas when we played against Leeds, we only lost by like 13 or something like yeah. that. And then against Edinburgh, we beat them. You don't expect that, like, so that we beat the second season. It's like you see those kinds of performances. And Kill came second to bottom. Like the only team that came worse than Kill were Chester, and that's only because Kill beat them in overtime by a field goal. And that was the only thing that was scored all game. Like, and so Stallions can definitely perform better. I've seen them play better. Like as a team, I've seen them play. I've seen individuals on this team play better. They're making stupid mistakes. They're not thinking about their little things. They're not thinking about all these face cages. They're not keeping their discipline. And as long as they keep their discipline in the second half, they're going to smash it. Yeah, uh, bury them is what uh, Joey said. And <laughs> if they eradicate their mistakes, do you see that happening? No. What do you mean? What do you mean? Sorry. So if they eradicate th Sorry, their I mistakes, you said it <laughs> no, I said no. Their mistakes. Um, yes, I can. I mean, my prediction for today was a 50 burger. So I was expecting them to win like 50 nil, or even if Kill did score like 60 10, basically. I was expecting that kind of game. And I still want that kind of game. I want to basically have me and Evan at the end of the game going, yes, it's a 50 burger, <laughs> basically. Um, and I was also really disappointed when Ant Wallace got that um, interception that I couldn't go, and he's down to the 30, and the 20, and the 10, <laughs> and he's away, and it's a touchdown. Because, I mean, that's always like a commentator's dream to be able to do that. <laughs> so, so, so are you what, expecting what? 40? Sorry, no. So you're expecting 40 points in the, the second half? Yes. Yeah? I mean, that, I, they, they can do it. They can. They've so, done it before. So where can Keel improve? Everywhere. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> I know I'm meant to be being impartial <laughs> right now. But so you look at their line. Their line are making mistakes. So their line aren't keeping their discipline. They're holding. They're making those stupid mistakes. Like Normally when you look at like simple things, like I'm pretty sure they had a holding against their defense. They had a pass interference against their offense. Like normally you see pass interferences against corners and DBs and stuff like that. Like you don't expect it to be against a receiver. So, I mean, they're making silly mistakes. Um, they also just need to just tidy up everywhere. Like they've got a really strong QB from the looks of things. Like you've seen him come out and a lot of QBs normally aren't that big. And he's a big guy, like, um, and they're starting to use him more. They're starting to use that small running back more. And he's obviously proven effective. But the thing is they can't use those Though, like those people constantly because if you just constantly do that stallions will read it they'll completely get like get you down they need to do something I just don't know what it is well we best let you two go back off because I think we're about to start the second half so I'll let you get into your uh, commentary positions it's 13-0 to Stash Uni and uh, they are going to bury them is the uh, is the key quote here I must say, Evan, I admire how you're managing to stay out in this weather and shorts, my friend. I explains it, though. <laughs> well, I guess we yeah, better hand you over we then as uh, we're about to kick off. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, we're back. We are indeed. It's the second half, the third quarter. Keel's Stal kicking off. Keel is kicking off. Stallions are receiving we the are kick. Receiving, yeah. <laughs> I had a moment there. a bit there. of struggle there. It's like, <laughs> mm. right. Keel is set. And the kick and is the off. kick is up. It's Donathan popping. has caught it. He's runs up the middle. And he's running and he's away. He's oh. away. Oh. That was a high that tackle. That was a high tackle. That was a high tackle. Donovan, Donovan is, is down. Donovan is down. That was a high tackle. Yeah, Donovan was down. That I'm was surprised the flag wasn't thrown on that. He definitely wrapped his... He wrapped his arms around his helmet. Yeah. That was uh, a bit dirty there. He wrapped his arm around his yeah. helmet. The fact that Donovan didn't come straight back up means that that was... That was a high tackle. No, I'm... I'm Yeah. 
I mean, it was a legal tackle, but it was it high. Was legal. It wasn't necessary. I mean, I think the thing is, it, yeah, it wasn't necessary. But also on top of that, when you look at things as well, um, so obviously this year they brought in the helmet to helmet rule. Yeah. So if you go into somebody with your helmet and you are obviously targeting them, that yeah. is an instant ejection, which is what we actually saw in the Stallions Leeds game. Yeah. Um, where not only did their uh, one of their best defensive players, uh, one of their linebackers, I think it was number 54? Yeah, I believe so. Um, get ejected. Oh, Donovan's back up. Donovan's back up. He's running, which is Looks very like positive. Looks like just a shock of getting hit by that, but he's looking good. That was worrying. That was a bit. I, I, I get, you know, I'm like, I'm very oh, yeah. dramatic oh, yeah. with all of these kinds of things. I'll be screaming from oh. the sideline, get him off! <laughs> get that Donovan guy off! Donovan managed to get it to the 20... Three. 23, yeah. Give it a okay, yeah, my overdramaticness is gone now. <laughs> that was all fine. We're all good now. Oh. Tash, is, Tash is calm again. Keel, isn't he, <laughs> this is the problem. Like, the moment you see one of, like, your players oh, go yeah. down, you automatically go, no, that player was in the wrong. That yeah. player did something bad. It's, it's everything's oh, bad, offense basically. Offense success. Whistle's gone. Snap was good. And Back. it's out to Kier Bailey, and he's... He's running, he's the running down the field, oh, he and he's, he's skip. managed to get he's managed to get Strips, off a tackle two tackles. and slipped. And he, can he slip a third? Oh, oh and he's oh, out of bounds. He but he did third. manage to strip the third as well. So that third. was not only one tackle; that was two tackles. That There's was three a tackles. On the field, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, it could have been due to that block that occurred oh, for Kier. That's near the line. So do you reckon it could be something that happened it potentially before? It could have been. We'll it could have been something on Zach because we didn't really look at Zach even after the ball had gone off to Kier, did we? This is why somebody needs to fund our our amazing um, media suite that we need. Just waiting for so just ref. waiting for the confirmation from the refs. I have to say though, it was a good run by Kier. He did manage to uh, strip three tackles, yeah. but unfortunately got pushed out of bounds. Oh, two. Okay, so the personal fouls on both sides so the uh, will be cancelled if anybody wants to keep up to date with um, all of the exact understandings of what's going on so any stats uh, where where the field position are and anything like that follow the Staffordshire Stallions on Twitter at Staff Stallions um, the lovely Jen um, is doing social media uh, for the team today She's giving us a lovely wave yeah. <laughs> um, so if you want to keep up to date with everything, head on to that, or you can go on to the OMG or Staff TV Twitter, where I'm pretty sure they're retweeting and posting All tweets right. as well. Offense is so set once again. Snap is good. Hands and off it's to hands off to Nathaniel. Nathaniel has Big speed. Ben for the block. So he is, and he's managed to get the first down, which is exactly what nice. Stallions so needed. A nice 14 yard run there. I was looking at my phone half time to see what people have been saying on the players' page. What are they saying? Oh, what are they saying, Evan? What are they saying? Well, I got a message from Reese saying he wanted to shout down because he's watching. Oh it from yeah, the I South got, Coast. I got a message from Reese saying that too, did. and I yeah. um, I, I looked at my phone and said, Reese, um, I'm kind of commentating right now, mate. Yeah. Kind of can't talk to you right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but Reese Parfit, thank you yes, for thank you for, that, for tuning in. Also one of our old boys. <laughs> Uh, Nathaniel's down, looks like something on his ankle. I think his shoe came off, ah. which didn't really help. Um, and then I'm it. assuming that something must have happened. Um, what was it? Did he have a knee injury or, or an ankle knee. injury? Knee injury. Yeah, so, I mean, let's hope that his ankle isn't messed up yeah. as well. Oh, he's up. There's a little bit of... A little bit of a limp. A little bit of a limp, okay. yeah. He seems, yeah, seems to be all right. Yeah. He is prone to injury. <laughs> he runs too fast for his own good. He's a bit like me. I'm prone to injury yeah. as well. I mean, two shoulder impingements and a oh, all that lovely stuff. Yeah, all of all of the great things that American okay. football can do for you. <laughs> okay, so it's first Luckily, no ACLs though. Oh, well, that's first. oh, and that's a fake, and the ball is up in the air. Unfortunately, it was a bad throw by Zach. Bad throw by Zach, but also the wind. The wind, yeah. The wind suddenly hit as I soon as he threw the ball, there. and then it just kind of started to come back. Um. But it was good spotted by the receivers because the receivers actually did start. So um, Josh Badu started to run towards the ball, but also the receiver that it was aimed for actually started to come back on themselves because they realised what was happening. So good look out by the Stallions. So it's, what is it, second down on 38, 37? 37. Yeah, we'll go with 37. Yeah. All right, everyone is set. Snap is good. 
Zach and it's out to Kier. Off to Kier. Oh, Ooh. that was unfortunate. This is why Kier's a running back. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be a wide receiver. <laughs> I mean, he has played almost every position. He has. I mean, I did give him a shout out yesterday. I think he started off on the line when yep. he was in I, his I, first I, year playing. I got him on the line. Yeah, got him on the line. Then he moved to linebacker. Then yep. he moved to running back and linebacker. Then he started playing a bit of QB. He's kicked for the team. He's punted yep. for the team. Oh, he um, he's played on, I think, nearly every position you can on special teams as well, pretty, pretty much. much pretty like, much. Or he's at least played on every single special teams. Yeah. But that's care for you. Care He'll for do what you. he needs to do for the team. And now he's the president. <laughs> Snap is good. Zach rolling out right. Looking for the pass. Throws it deep. Oh, he's got... He's got and George got, catches oh, it. Oh! oh. No. George Colliver was knocked out of his hands. That was That was nice. close. That was good. That was, that was like one of those moments where everyone nice goes up and you hope there. that yeah. And it was it was great in this wind as well. Yeah. He so was great into the wind, so that didn't help him. Well, it's a punt now. Not the start the Stallions wanted no, probably to the second half, however. Some good plays, some good some good Just scenes. Unfortunate what occurred. Yep. However, you never know, it could happen again oh, where yes. we can strip the ball, maybe get back, get it back. Snap is good. Ben Cameron with the kick. Nice kick. However, there was contact on the kicker after the kick. No flag though. But no flag, which is very They're a bit iffy sometimes with that. Yeah, they do seem to be a bit iffy, but Yeah. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see he what happens. To get it to and it doesn't look like that he hurt his leg, so that's what's good. <laughs> He's a solid man. <laughs> I think that's on their 24 line. Yeah, Ooh, 24 yard line. Now. So if you are just joining us on this lovely... Was sunny. <laughs> it was sunny day in Stoke. Um, it is currently 13 nil to the Staffordshire Stallions. Um, no score so far in the second half. Kiel are on offense now, and we've got first and 10 from Kiel. Big Ben through the line, almost gets oh, the sack. Oh, and Kier is Kier. straight there. Either way, that worked well. I think if the kill QB had thrown that a little bit harder, yeah. potentially it would have been away, but it was a bit of a loose it throw. Was a loose. I think that was due to uh, a bit too much pressure from uh, yes. our own Big Ben. Yes. Gotta love Big Ben. Gotta love Big Ben. <laughs> he has had his uh, first... Touch, defensive touchdown of his career was uh, this season. I did not know that. That was a great yeah, fact. Yeah. <laughs> the snap's good, and oh. they decide to go for the run, and he is down straight away by Kept Big in the Ben. Backfield by Big Ben. <laughs> he got double teamed. I thought it was him out of the game, but he's managed to get to it. Yes, uh, it was. I can't remember. I think it was the Chester game. He got through the line and he said basically the, the running back handed him the ball. <laughs> and he then ran 30 yards. You know that people are scared of you when people just, just see you just running at them and give the you ball. the ball. Yeah. <laughs> he was also unfortunate. Uh, he had to run about 30 yards and was uh, breathing out of his ass, basically. <laughs> he was uh, not well after that. <laughs> uh, Keel is set. Snap's good. And he went to run. Oh, to off, I think he meant to hand it off to the running back, and then did. the running back just ran straight past him. Because even the QB looked surprised yeah, then and kind of went, surprised. What am I meant to do with this now? Oh, I guess I'm running it. QB did manage to get a nice uh, eight yard run there out of there. I don't think that was meant to happen. It was though. not meant to happen, but <laughs> he surprisingly did well to recover. From there. the quick move of his helmet and the kind of. Yeah. hesitant movement like, it oh, looks oh like what, what's next? <laughs> i think he suddenly realized and he suddenly got the fear of oh i've got to run <laughs> he, he's definitely fast for his size so i'll give him that yes okay it's a keel punt now they are on it's their fourth, fourth down, down. They're four yards from their first down so i haven't known keel to do any uh, fake punts on special teams and from the looks, like, I don't think they're going to be fake punting with the fact they're having to set everyone up properly. Yeah. Oh. And we could. Oh Ball no! No away. block. Joey is. Joey's going Joey's for it. Joey's got it. Joey's Joey going cuts for back it. Inside. Come on, Joey. There we go. Manages to break two tackles. 
and but it was a better field position than potentially what we would have ended up with. Yes. So that that's always a positive. It's always positive. It's, uh, it's, it's never good if uh, somebody that's um, returning the ball um, can't get a better field position yeah, um, than, than what you potentially would have got. But Joey, Joey managed it and broke a couple of tackles while he, he was there. Well. I mean, I don't know how he's still together. He has got a shoulder injury. He does. He's a, he's a one-armed man at the he moment. Is. I'm surprised Not he hasn't tried class. to do any like Odell catches and all of that with Give the fact. <laughs> Maybe towards the end of the game. Yeah. He'll regret it afterwards. <laughs> okay, so Stallions are now on offense and we are on the 20. 25. Yep, 25. Snap is good. And, and it's to Kier. Kier. And Kier bounces around a tackle. There is a flag on the play again. though. Kiel getting a bit too excited there, even though there was a flag on the play. Thought and he had the ball. The, the, play, the play had already been blown, so um, the kill player, I don't think, heard the whistle and decided just to rip the ball and imagine like he actually had it. Got to give him something. <laughs> I mean, he's shown some excitement. He That's did. all that matters. As long as they're still having fun. Oh. It was on us. The flag was on us on uh, lineman number 60, Callum. Unfortunately, that means a 10 yard penalty, which pushes us back um, to the. 25. Twen 15, 15, sorry. Oh, <laughs> You're doing to me. I'm doing to you. <laughs> I wish we stayed on the 25. I wish we stayed on the 25 too, but we've got 20 yards to make up now. Still first down. <laughs> Let's see what Stallions can do with this. Stallions need to wake up a bit. So they are set. And Zach's going for the, the quick throw. To Joey. Out to Joey, who's Joey now made it down the field. He's got the first down. He gets that first down. down that was a great run. run by Joey McKenzie there. This is why he's he one of been one of Stallion's standout players, not just this season, but all of the all season seasons. that he's been involved. Yeah. He managed to break one tackle and still managed to run about another 10 yards with someone hanging on to him. Even with a not all their shoulder. He is just... <laughs> he's a man of glass. He is a man of glass. <laughs> But once again, but another player like Kier, who has not only just played his position as receiver, he's even offered to go on the line at one point, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> I, mean, I, I know he would hate it, but I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> okay, Stallions on offence, first down. Zach rolls right. And Zach's back to throw, back to Kier. To Kier. And Kier's, Kier's getting down the field, he's just span out. And he's oh. being grabbed by his helmet for yeah. some strange reason. I mean, there was, the a, there was a couple of flags. Yeah. Flag down at the 35 yard line. And then there's and also the, another uh, flag as Kier was getting tackled. Second flag was because the guy wrapped around his head. It's definitely illegal there. But we'll see if it's uh, one on each side so they might cancel each other out. Yeah, if it's might one against the Stallions and one against Kiel, then yeah, they'll both might cancel each other out. So but it could be that, but that we'll see what happens. Definitely the second flag could have been avoided. If that was. Uh, yes. That's them losing their composure a bit. Once again, we apologize if you um, hear any form of um, inappropriate language during this stream. Um, it is completely live. Um, the staffs, supporters, definitely getting into it. Oh dear. <laughs> So there was a flag Okay, so the, the Stallions head coach are, is being called over because there was holding on the Stallions, um, number 64. 64 um, but then also there was face cage, which is a personal foul on, um, on the Crusaders. And they offset each other. We weren't sure if oh, there wait, was no, potentially... Sorry. It was on uh, 74, Josh. Yeah, sorry, 74, not 64. Yeah. Um, it was so, a miscalculation by the refs there. So, um, from this, both the penalties cancel out. We're back to first down. It's first and ten for the Stallions. On the uh, 37, I'd say, still. And it seems to be getting colder by the minute here. Oh, it does. <laughs> Good snap, snap good. and Hand it's off handed to off to Simeon, Gets who has managed to break a tackle and go straight through the hole. He's nearly on the first down, and he's got a gain of eight yards. So we're now on second and oh, two. Someone's down. I believe it's Kyle Black. 
It could be his shoulder. He has got a shoulder injury, which is still causing issues. Got for another a while. shoulder injury. He's holding his arm, so I'm not sure where. This is unfortunately why getting into the postseason is great but bad at the same yep. time because not only are you trying to deal with playing playing a very aggressive sport, but you're also trying to deal with all of the injuries you've picked up during normal dur during the normal yeah. season, yeah, yeah. and then also whatever happens in postseason because well, you're not playing against the easy teams anymore. You're no, playing, playing against, against teams, teams that oh, are actually. Carl's up, but he's definitely holding his arm. Yeah, he's definitely holding yeah. his arm. This is, this is this is the argument. It's like. Who had the better advantage? Did we have, you know, considering we played actual games against hard people, yeah. but we got injuries, or did Kiel yeah. have a more advantage because they had a break yeah. so they could train against us? They had. The, I think the thing was is with Kiel, they had rest time so that any players that were injured they could actually take a break. Yeah. But also the players that weren't injured had that extra training time. But also with Stallions, we've had more game time. And I think that's where actually, as much as injuries have caused some problems, we have a step up. Anyway, Stallions back on offense, set Se up. Good snap. It was second and, and two, so it's a QB dive. Yep. Zach's Zach taken it, and Zach has down. got the first down. With the Simmons run before, it's uh, one worry that coaches have had about him is his ball security, but he has proven them yes. wrong in the last few games. Yes, he has. I think that, especially when you're a... Wait, when you're a new, yeah. when you're a new running back, I mean, I know my first season as a running back, it was very difficult to understand how to hold the ball to yeah. make sure that you yeah. had it secure, especially when you're running through through as many people you have to try oh, and yes, run yeah. through. Because you've got people shoving their arms in everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> ball is set. We're on the 31 yard line. Good snap, snap. Good. good fake. Throws it out, out to, to Josh Fadu, and he's nearly broken a tackle and he's got his feet oh. pumping, and the refs have called it. Unfortunately, that looks like it's potentially a loss of yards. Or is it on the... Uh, it's a loss of yards, unfortunately. It's, it's a loss a of yard, one a yard. A yard. Just, a one, yard. Just, just one just yard. yard. Just one yard. So it's second and 11, which isn't, isn't the worst no, situation. The worst. It, could, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> I mean, Bosch's hands are a bit temperamental. Yes. He's made some spectacular catches. He has. Others, some, um, how did you drop it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Second eleven, snap is Bad low. Bad snap, Bad and snap. Zach Zach's manages to it. Zach manages to spectacularly avoid. Yeah. Joe McKenzie there, um, congratulating Zach on his uh, oh, yeah. on his well recovered um, situation. Zach did well to pick that ball up and actually run somewhere. Run back to the scrimmage line. Yeah. So luckily, no loss of yards there. But back to this, back to the line of scrimmage. Third so. and eleven. Let's see if Stallions can uh, get the n get another first down, preferably a touchdown. Thank you, Juice, for the message. By the way, um, it was it was a lovely message. Lovely, great, great message. <laughs> Zach throws it to Kier. And Kier right. avoids a tackle, tackle. gets tackled. There is tackled, a flag, there the is a flag there. and there's Two another flags. second flag. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Looks like it might have been at Kiel. We'll see what the two flags are about. If it's if it's against Kill, then that'll be. However, uh, some of the stallions are, um, are saying that it's on us, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's the well, rest that decide. Optimistic. Luckily, not not us. <laughs> this is actually probably the f the only second game we've had seven refs. It the is. Actual amount that usually you need. And I think it's because. They know how this game can sometimes I go. I would agree there. Um, it's they must it, have learned from it's last not year. yeah, it's not always the cleanest of no. games, oh. and especially last year with oh. the fact that flags were on. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, fouls on both sides, so they have been cancelled out once again. It is a repeat of third down. We just need a confirmation from the refs. Um, but yeah, last year's game, it went to overtime in the it end. It did, it did go to overtime. And it then was a very quick overtime. It, it was, yeah, because Stallions ended up winning by a touchdown. And luckily, Ant was Wallace, who has been our pick. By yeah. Our <laughs> all right. Offense who's been picking set. all the balls today is picking again. Good snap. And the ball's away in the air. Oh. And unfortunately, uh, Stewart was um, 
Unfortunately, Stuart was covered by two guys there. Um, went out for the ball, but one of the kill uh, DBs managed to bat it down before Stuart even got a chance to to get it. Well, Stallion's timeout. Like we've said, uh, varsity is a whole other kind of ball game. We it did beat them at the beginning, but it completely changes. It does, yeah. I think that um, with varsity, it, it's it's an interesting one because you kind of work your way up through the season to varsity, and varsity is your yeah. final game. Um, and as much as you kind of come in and say, I think it's going to be an absolute whitewash, I think that we're going to do a great job, yeah. it always changes because you can never... you. As much as I want to say you can predict it, you actually can't, you really can can't, you, with Varsity? Yeah. Um, because both teams, see, the season is what is what you work for. However, Varsity is the one thing that actually yeah. brings you glory. And if that you win true. it, and especially if you're that a stats team and oh, you win yes. Varsity, you're, that is glory <laughs> you're like a god. <laughs> 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 so I know that I've uh, this is my fifth uh, Varsity involved, um, not just with the Stallions, but just for Team Stats. And I've played uh, four netball Varsity so far, and this is my fifth one. And we are yet to win a Varsity in netball maybe in all my time playing. Maybe this year will be yours. I'm praying that it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing centre, so I'm, right. I'm hoping. <laughs> Timeout is over. Offensive set up back again. Snap is good. And Zach throws Zach the ball. Throws it and it's to out Stu. to Stuart. Oh! Ooh. And it slips through Stuart's hands. All right. It's, uh, defense so is on now. That was fourth down. Defense are getting pumped up as they're running on the field, um, making sure that they... Uh, they stop it. Um, that was an unfortunate uh, by Stu not being able to grab that. It would have been uh, it a it would touchdown. Been, it would have been great. It would have been great. Oh, it would have been great. I think that he would have been very happy because obviously Stu, being our kicker, only really gets the um, the the glory when he gets a field goal. Yes. Um, and that's only normally a point. Or if obviously we're going for an actual field goal, then that's the three points. He never gets to score six points. No, he doesn't. <laughs> All, All in right. one. <laughs> Keels on on the 31. Snap's good. And it's a handoff. And it's he runs straight down. into uh, Desi, number 98. But there 98. is another flag on the field. So many flags. Discipline, guys, on both teams. Both I mean, I don't I don't really know, obviously, who that's against. Uh, oh, it's against Keel. Keel. Face cage. Holding, holding, sorry. I thought you grabbed his face there. So holding against number 78 on the line of uh, <laughs> the Kill Crusaders. Um, I think it's this is what I was saying obviously at, ha at half time when, when we quick loaded chat. It it's all about discipline. It is, yeah. And at the moment, Keel aren't showing much discipline. But actually when you look at Stas, they've had a lot of flags against they them have, as well. Yeah. And obviously what we've been seeing from the coaches, they've they've even turned around to the team when if you lose your discipline and you get a flag against yeah, you, you're, you're coming off. And I think yep. that's what needs to happen, whereas Keel aren't doing that. Well the thing is here that the staff needs to capitalise on these so lack of discipline. Yeah. So staffs are set up. Snap's good. Sorry, not staffs. Keel. Oh, He's brought down by Kier. Apologies Josh. there. Kiel was set up and Kiel did a good snap, not Stas. <laughs> it was Kiel. He did break through the line. He managed to gain about four yards, but was brought down by Kier Bailey and Josh Smith did follow. We are now on the 26 yard line. And it's second and about 14. Yeah. Keeler set up, Keel snap, snap good. good, and he's going to pass, and he does a quick one out oh, to... Yet another flag on the field. A quick pass out to the running back, number 21, but as Evan said, another, another flag on the field against Keel. Uh, this is on defense for holding. I don't think it is against defense. I think yeah. it's actually against offense. Oh, is it? Yeah. I heard so defense. My bad. he did. So the the ref accidentally oh. said holding defense number seventy number number seventy four. I think. So that's another um, ten yard penalty. But it wasn't defense. It was actually oh. the it On was actually offense. the keel offense um, who the um, holding was against. And sorry, it was against number sixty four. Yeah. Um, Stats really needs to capitalize here. They are on their eighteen yard line. Yeah, so as much as the ref might have said defence, it was definitely yeah, the against offense. the offence. So if Stas can capitalise on this, and if they can potentially um, get through the line, there's a potential for a safety in yeah, this kind of area. He's looking for the and pass. Looking for the pass, and he has got... He did have a receiver wide open, but unfortunately that receiver stopped running, decided to jump for it, 
did a lovely ballet style jump it though. Was. Um, he was a bit too open though. Yes, he was a bit too open. Um, the staff's defense. It might, it might be, the, it might be the gameplay that they're playing, the um, where or they are leaving a bit by open. The but of the uh, defensive coordinator, he uh, didn't do what he was meant to there. No, <laughs> they wanted a little bit more press there. I'm guessing. <laughs> So if we can, um, I think if Stasty hits get a bit more press on the receivers, um, yeah. then I think that we can... Um, well, it's uh, third and 25. Yes. 23, <laughs> something like that. Third and lots. <laughs> yes, third and lots. And the snap's good, and he's hands and it off. Back. And Goes right into the arms of... Right into the arms Chris of... Chris Middleton and... And Big Ben. Big Ben's just everywhere. There's some uh, good work by the D-line there. It is now, even though it's saying third down, it's now fourth down because Kiel are bringing on their punt team. There you go, it's now been changed. Fourth down, and Kiel are bringing on their punt team. Let's see what Stas can do with this. I know I have seen them block a couple of punts. A few, they've blocked a few. Oh, bad oh, snap. A terrible field. snap. And it's... It's a bit of an interesting uh, snap by their centre there. Kind of picked up the ball, then threw it. I mean, it they jumped on the ball, luckily, before the end zone. Yeah. So. How, however, however, they are literally right on the goal line. They are pretty much on the one, I'm pretty the, sure on the one, yeah. are they on the one yard? Quarter? And I think that's the end of the third quarter. That was that, a very was quick quarter. Why is the first quarter? Is the first, yeah, the first and the third quarter have gone very quickly. Okay, so moving down to the other end of the field, um, it is the end of the third. It is 13 nil to Staffordshire Stallions. So I think we are, we are now into line. the fourth quarter, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're fourth, fourth and, and goal on the one. <laughs> first, yeah, I was say yeah. first and goal. First and there. goal on the one. Um, Let's see. I mean, hoping if Stallions can't get a touchdown from this, if Stallions um, can't can't get a um, a touchdown off of this, I will be uh, completely there's shocked. Wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> they need to rethink what they are doing. <laughs> there will be something definitely wrong if they can't get a, a touchdown off of this. Oh, sure. They probably don't deserve the 13 points they've got so far if they can't get a touchdown off of this. Okay, so about to start the fourth I mean, quarter. Um, I, I know uh, Zach. No, I know exactly what Zach wants to do right here. I'm thinking he wants to do his own good QB sneak. Oh yeah, Zach will want to run it, and you know what Zach oh, will yeah. want to do. Uh, <laughs> I think Coach might have another idea. I think as well. Um, so it looks like we've got a change personnel in the running back position. Um, Camille's come on. Yep. So Camille actually joined the Stallions late this year. Um, I remember that we were about six, seven, like six to ten sessions in, I think. Yeah. And um, and Camille came down to watch uh, one of his mates who had joined the team this yep. year, and it was actually really exciting for him because oh, he yeah. came down just to watch and me and he me is. and Ant Wallace who were who was injured at the time both said come on join in Often it is a QB sneak it as is well. a Q does Zach, Zach and Zach gets Zach's it gets Zach's it. got the touchdown touchdown staff <laughs> you called it you said it was gonna be a QB sneak I it was a QB sneak oh and he's pumping it and he's <laughs> so now that's another six points oh. so it is 19 nil to stats Zach Green it looks with like a QB sneak for the two. And are we going for the two? Zach signaling well, two. Well, to be fair, we did miss that yeah, field goal. I think so he wants to make up for it. He will want to make up for it. Still decide whether they're going for two or one. Stu's going off, so it looks like they might be going for the two. They're going for the two. Yeah. I think they're calling. I think they want to call a timeout. They're calling the timeout. Yeah, calling the timeout. Calling the timeout to decide what they're going to do. To be honest, it makes complete sense it does. that they do go for the two so it's, because uh, 19 nil right now. 19 nil right now. Um, if you have just joined us, Staffordshire Stallions 19, Kill Crusaders nil. We did kind of call a, a nil game, didn't we yeah, today? We did. um, mainly because of the fact that they did beat Kill 40 nil in the we in the we in, were in season. Expecting big things. So we were kind of expecting big things right now. Um, actually, we've just had Kiel's AU president, Amy, come and join, join us. Um, so Amy, like I said, is the Athletic Union president um, at Kiel, kind of uh, similar to my equivalent. Um, <laughs> um, how are you finding it for the guys so far? Yeah, good. What's the score at the moment? 19-0 to Staffs. Uh, but 
we, we did kind of expect it. Yeah. We, we did say, when when, it, when we were doing our varsity planning things, we said that America Foot was going to be the ones that we didn't definitely didn't want to take out yeah. because that was one that we had a chance to win. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's definitely a lot of uh, sports this week that an American Foot was one of them that you don't know who's going to win it. Um, but I've seen a pretty good play from some of the, our guys, but obviously you guys are in the lead. I, you I, have, I no, would you, agree with that. Yeah, you have, you've, had, you've had some really good drives. So, like, we won't take that away from you, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, at the moment, it does look like, unfortunately, Stats are going to win this one. Um, oh, don't, don't say it too soon. I mean, that, that's, yeah, hold on, where's wood? I need to touch some wood right now. <laughs> you up Actually, no, I won't start too loudly. Some of our old boys might get a bit. <laughs> two. So they're going for the two points. They've got two men in the backfield. Zach Green is lined up under centre. The whistle's gone. It's gone away. And Zach's running out. And it's gone oh, into oh. Ben Cameron dies and it went to knocks out it hands. went to Boston Ben and unfortunately, it was no good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Score holes at 19 nil then. <laughs> okay, so Staffs are now going to be kicking off. Kill will be receiving the ball, which means Kill will be on offense in just a second, and Stallions will be back on defense. Stewart setting up the ball. All right, Staffs is going out, setting up. <laughs> I've just been given what looked like an ice lolly Kick stick or a stir or something to touch wood. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so Kiel are running the ball down. Let's see how far the kill. Right side of the pitch. Come on, Kiel! <laughs> <laughs> Amy, they're getting very excited. Controversial, that is. <laughs> okay, so Kiel are down to the twen the twenty yard line. Nineteen. Nineteen. The nine. Nope. nope eight. Still going. Nope. Still going down. The seventeen. I think Ryan Mills can make up his mind. Yeah. <laughs> This is the issue that you have when you have Ryan Mills down on um, yeah, <laughs> down mean, on chains. No, <laughs> so one of our injured players, unfortunately. Seventeen, I'd say, on the seventeen-yard line. So, if you're only just joining us, welcome. It is the first day of RST 2019. Um, we have got the Staffordshire Stallions and the Kill Crusaders. It's currently 19 nil to Staffs. The, ki <laughs> the Crusaders are now on offense. They've just set up. And it's a run, running and right. Desi gets there. Brought down by Big Ben. Yep. How did he, okay, I will give him that. I saw Desi running and then suddenly oh, yeah. Big Ben was just like. I think Desi got a bit excited, <laughs> like this is mine now. <laughs> I mean, I saw Big Ben get holed up and I look away and then suddenly he's there again. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Keel lost four yards in that play. <laughs> Cash getting a bit berated there. Tash <laughs> is a, a bit incapacitated right now, can't stop laughing. But defense is set up. But we assume they'd go for an onside kick again here. And if they don't go for an onside kick again, it'll be rather surprising. Oh, what's they're not doing the same tactic they did before, staying in a huddle then run out. No. Nope. No, it's they are just they're kick. just going for a straight kickoff. Um and Chris, Chris Middleton has up, picked it up runs and through. he's running down the field. He gets oh it's a bit of a high tackle there, but he gets brought down at the uh, thirty two yard line. Hold on, Chris. So Stallions are now on offense. So after all of that, Stallions are on offense, Keel on defense. Chris uh, did manage to run quite a few yards with people on his back, actually. He did. That's Apologies for the break in the radio stream. We are now back on OMG. Um, it, um, so we are now back on OMG. Um, so what has happened? 
A lot has happened. <laughs> a lot has a happened. Lot. So it is now 19-7. Yep. Still to stats. Um, but Kiel got their first TD. It was a QB run. They managed to get it in for the touchdown. It was on the three-yard line. We kind of expected yeah, that something was, might happen. Go um, and then there's just been a massive going they, on. They, they had an onside kick, which uh, was a bit interesting. But uh, Staffs did manage to get it back after all the flags that were thrown. They've just set up, but unfortunately, Zach was just tackled in the backfield. So um, we are now on second and... 14, 13, 14. I'll say 14. But there's about seven and a half minutes left. Second and 16, I think. Second, oh. Second and 16. 16. Ah, yes. But yeah, as I said, there's only about seven and a half minutes left in the actual game. So offense has set up. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's 16, yeah. Second and 16. Yeah, give me that. Some motion by Kier. And it's Zach snapped the ball. the ball and he's and he's got Throwing it away. It to George. And it's been oh. it was nearly picked off there by the by the Crusaders. I'm, I'm not sure what's happening with our O line here. The Crusaders are trying to to show that it was a P pass interference. However, I think George just knocked him to make sure that he dropped it. Yeah, it just dropped <laughs> the ball, really. Which, which is what happens normally. Yeah. I mean, you're um, both running at a fast pace. Yeah. Um, so yeah, currently, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening with the O line at the moment. It's no, uh, currently Stallion's still on offense, and yeah, we seem to be allowing the uh, Crusaders. D to uh to dictate how we're playing. Yes, defense dictating. Yeah, which isn't um, it's n it's not the alliteration that you really want. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. So Stallion's back on offense. Snap is snap is low, but snap. he manages to get it. And Zach, Zach throws, throws it, it out and, oh. gets, and it Kier Kier gets it. And Kier is it. running down the field. And Kier and does he get gets it? In? it. Is it in? Is it in? This is the question. Is it in for a touchdown? Just short. It did. Because he did, I was like, I saw the pylon go down. I saw yeah. the pylon go down. Everyone was getting excited. The uh, two point RR run. Dove tried to catch it, went through his hands into Kiera Bailey's hands, who managed that to turn upfield. That got my heart going. That got my heart going. <laughs> then dove for the end zone, but I think was it about a yard? It inches. It's inches. It's in, it is literally, it literally inches. inches. So if you are listening rather than watching, um, like what Evan said, went straight to the hands of one of our receivers who was diving for the ball, thinking that it was going to be best to go to him. Thankfully, Kier Thank Bailey you. was was coming around the back and went straight into his arms. Zach is lined up. Some motion again by Kier. The snap Zach's is good, running. and Zach Zach looks like he's trying oh, to go in for it. He's been held back, unfortunately. But we are on first down so we do have a second chance i think that from that we've been taken back to the one yard well oh no sorry where ryan mills is currently set up it doesn't even look like we were inches no, it, it looks, looks like, like that actually we were a yard away um so and second, second down second and one yeah we have how it moved <laughs> second and goal with one yard to go that was uh that was a hell of a catch back here. I'd like to say I'm going to have to get my maths on if um, if we if we score again, but it's an easy maths for this one, because if we get six, it's just up to 25. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we have gone to uni for some things. Yes, we have. I mean, Zach's I've graduated. Rolling right, throws it. It's and caught it's, by and it's Sam caught. Nash. And it's caught by Sam Nash. Oh, oh. Sam Nash. And if you didn't know, his real name's Heath, actually. <laughs> you know, don't know why we call him Sam. So, it is. Oh, dear. Ego has exploded. It's 25 seven to the seven. stallions 25 seven so that was sam nash number 88 with the td unfortunately we are now worried about how big his ego will go it, is definitely <laughs> ego. I don't think it will explode it. now that he's now that he's got a touchdown against keel no one no I one mean, actually will be able to tolerate him tonight i mean it was bad enough when we actually got actual completed passes but hey ho yeah currently getting my beard stroked by uh, Aaron. He is enjoying it a bit too much there. But we're going for the field goal. Oh, sorry, we're going for two points. Yes. Gets past the cam, who unfortunately didn't run far enough outside and copy back. 
So it's now staying at 25 7. Stallions haven't really been good with these extra points today, have they? they have not, no, no. Normally, we normally. will normally have been kicking the field goals, getting the extra points. And even when we've been going for the two points, we've been doing those quick and easy plays. Yeah, so yeah. the little little dinks over little, little and little stuff like that, yeah. But that a is little actually, shovel pass uh, and stuff. But gives me a great bit of relief there seeing that another touchdown. Yes. I mean, the moment that Kill scored that touchdown, I do think they deserved it. They, 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 they have, they been, have they've well. been having some really, they really have. good moments, and especially with some of the passes. Like their QB has been solid today. I'll yeah. give I'll give them that, especially with the fact that when you look at Kill's team um, compared to last year, they lost a lot of their they lost a lot of their key third year players. They lost their QB last year. I think they lost one of their best receivers. They yep. lost their 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 cap their de defensive captain. So. They had lost pretty much all their leaders yeah. from their team. Didn't they have a complete overhaul of coaches as well? Yes, they had a complete, a complete overhaul of yeah. coaches. So with the fact that they've had a, they, they've had a fresh start this season massively. You see, from where we played them in the first yep. part of the season in December, 40-0, yep. and now they've managed to score a touchdown. They're actually making yards and making their way down the field. It has actually been really positive for has, the, from a kill yeah, perspective. Um, but Salian's currently in the lead, 25-7. The ref is currently making his way to give the ball to Stu to kick off. <laughs> I did see Stu kind of like waving his leg around and was wondering why he yeah. was just waving his leg around and not actually kicking a ball. Naturally keeping himself warm. And whistle has gone. Stu is setting himself. Getting everybody set up. And he runs up. The kick is good. It's up it in the air. Number 16, Num I think. Number 12 catches it. Sorry, 12. He's running right. <laughs> It gets brought down by number 50, Chris Middleton, and at the 15 Luke yard Jones, line, 44, I believe. At the 15 yard line, so Kill are starting on their 15. Five. Five? 15? No, 15. 15. Where's it 10? It's disappeared. <laughs> it is the. It doesn't exist anymore. I mean, I'm the short one here, but believe me, Evan, 15. Yeah, you, you can see between the legs. I have, I have bodies to look down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 50, okay, there we go. I can see it last. Not that I didn't believe you. <laughs> it's okay. I, I mean, I've got my numbers mixed up all, all the time. Exactly. For all I know, it could have been fifth, the 51 yard line. <laughs> like, I could have easily said oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I will be honest, I have no idea where we are time wise. I'm thinking that we've got about four minutes left. Yeah, I'll say that. We'll say that. Maybe. Once again, if you'd like to fund our NFL media setup here at Steph's, you are more than welcome to. <laughs> we would love one. Passes Pass away, and it's caught. caught by number 13, and he is taken down he by was, Donovan. Uh, it too much open space there. Oh. He did have too much open space. That seems yeah. to be happening a lot. Here, I tried to jump for that ball, and I can see did. he was disappointed not to grab it. I mean... 13 is staying. Is he all right? He just seems to be sitting down. I think he needs a bit of a stretch. Uh, oh, he's got crap. Oh, Oh, he's got cramp. I think he's 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 walking off. Yeah, no, he's good. He's good, luckily. Number 13 from Kill Crusaders is up. He's all right. Okay, so Kill are coming out and they're getting set up again. It is first down. On the 25, 24, sorry. They managed to gain nine yards from... Snap is good. Hand it off to the running back. Oh, and he nearly Big gets ben taken gets down. And then Josh, well, Josh gets Smith on him. finishes it off and, and drives him back. Josh Smith manages to get down that running back. One of the Keel players getting a bit uh, mouthy there, and uh, they are definitely losing their temper a bit. Keel is. Josh Smith is staying down. Josh Smith is staying down. Oh, he's he has. Knees, ankles, he's a lineman. He has injuries all over the place. <laughs> I had to tape up his shoulders before this game. Oh God. Evan, Evan knows that, not that lineman life. Lineman life. First things to go are the knees. If anybody else understands the lineman life, don't forget to tweet in yeah. <laughs> to Staffordshire Stallions <laughs> and just so that you can feel Josh, Evan, Kyle, everybody else oh, that's yes. injured's Indeed. pain. <laughs> I bet you uh, missed the Kiel player there trying to square up to Kier. It was uh, very amusing to watch. Oh, Unnecessary. Kier's like one of the nicest people oh, ever no, and was. doesn't bite I mean, back. He was standing there with his arms out going like, um, what, what's, what's happening right now? Oh, Josh is coming off. He is limping. I'm not sure if he's out for the game or what but he's well big ben is back in yeah. replacing uh replacing josh smith on no, the defensive no, line sam nash has replaced them on the defensive line hold on you are you being yes yeah, he sam, has sam nash has been training at the end it's okay yes sam, sam nash has decided that next season he actually preferred to move from receiver to defensive end so this is his time to maybe prove himself as to big why ben he should through. 
Oh, oh. QB manages to get the pass off. Oh, and, and it is caught. It is caught. He is. Uh, it is now going to be third and two. And Wallace nearly got there with the inception. Nearly, nearly. He nearly got in there. In in the end, ended up uh, tackling the guy instead. That was. Um, a, that was a nice catch, though. That was a nice catch. Yeah, that was a, a fair throw. Yeah, especially being chased by Big Ben. Oh, I mean, no one, likes <laughs> no one likes to be chased by Big Ben. I mean, when we say he is big, he is, he big. is big. He is. He is. Big Ben is an understatement. <laughs> okay, so Kiel getting set up again. It is currently third and sorry, not two. Third and, third three, and three. Snap is good. He's looking for the pass. Oh, and he goes out. Oh, and oh, Sam Nash nearly. And he's got the first down. Gets so taken he could down have eventually about 10 yards later. I'll be honest, as a QB, he could have easily slid there. He, he could, could have, have easily said, but he decided, nah, I he I've got the, the first down. I, yeah, I, I want to keep going. I want to get hit. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> the chains are moving once again. We're so it's 42 yard line on Stallion's 42 yard line. Yep, first and 10. Keeler getting set up. The QB's just signalling. And it's and he's decided to run it again. Oh the They're ball. trying to strip the ball. The ball nearly did, come, nearly out. did he, come out. Then, yeah. The the kill QB there, when you talk about ball security, as a QB he knows you keep holding that ball with two hands. He was flailing that around. Oh, that yeah. was dangerous. That yeah. was dangerous. Staff players are far too concerned with bringing him down actually more than trying to strip that ball. Yeah. <laughs> he is a big guy. We are we're into the two-minute warning, so there is two Ooh. minutes left of this game. And we are Can Kill bring it back half. in two minutes? 25-7. Mm, it, it, I don't think so. It, it's, it's, they'd have to get a touchdown right now. Onside kick, touchdown, another onside kick. It's not. It's. It doesn't look frankly, feasible, does it? But they can at least score again. And ben. they've doesn't manage and to bring down the running back but Chris does so we are currently it is second and hold on sorry no it's it's third third, third and, and five I'm gonna say third and five third and third and six or third and third, third and six third, third and seven, seven. <laughs> we'll get we'll get there eventually I, one thing I have to say on offense is I haven't seen Kyle Black play patty cake with the air yet I've currently got the stallions telling me to get it right, so I'm getting it right now. Third and seven. I mean, it's third and seven. Yeah, yeah. And they're going for a pass, or is the QB going to... QB oh. passes it. Let's see what happens from that. So There's no flag, and, so it was a clear. So Ant Wallace tripped. Unfortunately, the, uh, the kill receiver then tripped over Ant's tripping and then looked for a flag. Wanting PI <laughs> because he didn't catch it. First. And yeah, and then one wanted them to throw a flag, but it's it's not it's not a flag. <laughs> yes, you do have a very posh voice catch, don't you? I do have a very um, okay, no, they are flagging oh, they it. Did. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, apologies, I shouldn't. They have yeah. finally decided. They they have decided as late. as three of Sorry, three of them have three of them have decided to huddle together. They have been in a discussion, and now they have sassily thrown their flags. And I do Sorry, I like to call it a sassy flag if I you mean, haven't joined us yet. They have got some uh, flicking of the wrist there. Unfortunately, though, it is. If so, if they explain this to me, Evan. Mm -hmm. I've also been playing football. You've yeah. been playing it for a little bit longer than me. Um, if a corner trips, as yep. they are going to try and intercept the ball and they trip over their own feet and then unfortunately in that the then receiver trips if, over if, them if the receiver trips over them then it's not their fault but if the corner trips and grabs the guy then it's then it is, then it is. And if he if he in any way try to brings his arm out and tries to trip them and, or and it like was that. very obvious that even though george stood right in front of me um <laughs> Pass interference it, has was, been given. it was very obvious that that and that aunt wallace didn't mean to trip over Didn't and then trip know. over the guy so but they've given it as pass interference yeah, unfortunately so Kiel has a first down <laughs> is, it, is it repeat of down or is it first down I can't no remember. i think it's from the looks of it it looks like that they are it's giving an automatic first down they're, they're they're giving it as an automatic first down from the I, from, I from, from the place I of the foul. i couldn't quite realize it believe it actually. interesting um Very. i mean Kiel is now on our on the staff's 
22, 22 yard, 22 line. yard line with a first down. So it's first and 10 on Stats 22 yard line. And the snap's good. QB gets ready to throw, throws, throws the ball. Into and Donovan's it's into arms. Donovan. And Donovan, Donovan intercepts the ball. So Stats are now onto offense. So Stallions are back on O. Arthur Kill had a bit of that momentum going. Kill had a bit of momentum going there had, with that. Kill had very good momentum. They capitalized on some uh, flags there and they've brought it yeah, right into our red zone but I mean they have capitalized on a lot of flags Finally, I mean they have got quarterbacks have woken up <laughs> they have they've oh, got yeah. I mean Donovan isn't even a court <laughs> oh yeah their quarterback's woken up yeah. and Donovan there I mean like you kind of expect corners to be able to catch but sometimes linebackers you just think they're going to tackle yeah. Donovan I mean, there being one of our linebackers why they're cornerbacks they're failed right <laughs> We don't mean that to any of the cornerbacks <laughs> listening. We we mean You're that you, you, you do you do great jobs. <laughs> we all know what you really are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's first down staffs on our six yard line, I believe. I think it might be the four yard line. You might be wrong. Yeah, might I think it's wrong. behind the blue. Oh, oh and they've dropped they they fumbled the ball. Ooh, Which that means that we have given them a, a safety from the yep, looks of it. It is a safety. It's a safety. It is a safety. That is so that means that Kiel have got two points from that. So it is now, it is now 25-9. It's now 25-9 because Kiel have just scored a safety. That was an unfortunate pass off to Kier. Couldn't quite keep a hold of it. Although it looks like the refs are still debating that, even though they well, the just refs gave are now the debating. Signal. The refs are now debating. They've given the safety signal, and they've given, given the again. safety signal again. They keep giving the safety signal. I'm pretty sure it's a safety, yeah, I'm pretty but sure. they're, still, they're talking still talking about, about it. it. <laughs> uh, so the refs are now walking away, some of them. Like some of them are still stood the there writing. And... Come on. Give, give the safety signal head ref. It's or you can ignore it. It's been signalled as a safety. Yep. So it is now 25 Wait. 9 to the Stallions. I'm never happy about it. Who wants the safety? <laughs> When the ball carrier Currently, the there is a bit of a delay in the game in the um, due to the fact that uh, Head Charles, um, so Head Charles, Head Coach and Charles, sorry about that, Head Coach and Charles, the Staffordshire Stallions Head Coach, is currently talking to the refs, um, looking very unhappy about the decision that the refs have, that have given a safety. I'm unsure as to what he's debating at the moment, um, but we might be able to find out at the end of the game if we can uh, have a discussion with him. But... From the looks of it, um, the refs are still standing by their point that it's a safety. Well, I heard something about a punt from the Keel side. I'm well, yeah, because be, I think they'll be kicking, won't they? Because yeah. they just scored, but technically. They not punt, though, it'll be kicking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, um, They're okay. just getting it wrong, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, when it comes to regular football players, me and you both know that um, you get hit one too many times and you just yeah. forget things. Um, <laughs> All right. Kickoff team so yeah, going kick off, yeah, the kickoff team are going on, um, which means that Kiel are now receiving the ball uh, and they will be on offense in a second. Um, we will try and find out what the um, head coach was actually. Um, we'll try and find out what the head coach team was was talking about, was asking. It's about say, thirty seconds left at the moment. And. Staffs is setting up for kickoff. What did you find out? So, um, what was being deliberated by uh, the Stallions coaches and the rest was um, if actually um, it was a forward pass, it would have been an incomplete pass. It ah. wouldn't have been. It it wouldn't have been a backwards pass. However. The refs, the refs are calling it Rolling as... Rolling into the end zone. It rolls out the back of the end zone, it looks like it. Yeah, it did. So the refs are calling... That was a delayed hit at the end of the play. Flag has been thrown. Very unsure Kiel. as to why Kiel are celebrating an uncalled hit. It was uh, a bit stupid. I mean, I know things are getting heated because of the score, but there's no need for things like that. No. I mean, obviously, they've got the safety. 
They're trying to get everybody to walk away right now. The stallions are keeping their head cool. Kiel are also walking away. The rest are, are though having a conversation with Kiel about what just happened. Pretty sure he's on, but my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Kill are on offense, uh, Stallions are on defense. The refs are still having a discussion with the Crusaders. Um, we're unsure what about, but it's probably about their conduct and how they're acting towards the end of the game. Yeah, it's also probably debating what penalty to give them. Yes, I mean, it, it would make more sense for it to be an unsportsmanlike yeah. or due to a it late was, hit. It was, However, yeah. it's, it's what they decide to give, isn't it? I mean, the. Before that kick, there was about 30 seconds left to play, so there's probably about what, 28 seconds left to play. Yes, I mean, there's not a lot of... It's one of those where you understand that it's a heated game, it's yeah. varsity. However, the score is 25-9. Um, you, well. you, yeah, Kiel have actually done... Kiel have, Kiel have made some really good plays. They like, have. yes, the score is 25-9. Yes, they might be losing. But actually, they've made some good plays. Yeah, when you look at their performance, they have done pretty well. Oh, that's his oh, second unsportsmanlike qualifier and has been ejected from the game. So that means that um, one of the Crusaders, there's 30 seconds left of the game, and one of the Kill Crusaders has been ejected from Varsity 2019. So if you get two unsportsmanlike conducts in a game, now the rules are that you get ejected from an American football oh, game. So stupid. what has now happened is he has had a second unsportsmanlike conduct for a, for a, um, a hit after the end of yep. play, which now means that he has been ejected. Kiel is getting put back onto their goal line, it looks like. Nope, sorry. They're getting put back onto the 10-yard ten ten yard line. line. My eyesight is terrible. So that'll be why they were discussing, they were because discussing they had to much, tell. Yeah. They had to obviously tell that player that they you have been ejected. Yeah, and obviously had to explain the why they've been was. ejected. So now it all makes sense. I mean, that's just a stupid <laughs> mistake. It is. So Kiel are now set up, about to snap the ball. Snap's good. good. And it looks QB's like they're going to pass it. Throw. QB's got the throw. And Ant Wallace nearly went in trying to get a hat trick the, on a. Yeah, those <laughs> two, the two kill receivers were in a lot of space there and should have called that, but didn't. Yes. Oh, but there is a flag. That, that oh, another flag on the, on the field. We'll see what this one's for now. <laughs> yeah, this will be interesting. Who's it on this time? All of. On us, on defense. Personal foul on defense. Personal foul on uh, 71 red. 74. 74, sorry, that's Josh my Smith. apology. Oh, why Josh, why? This means that Kiel now have an automatic first down. <laughs> 15 yard penalty and they are now starting on the 25 yard line. Uh, Captain Chris Middleton there is just checking uh, with the ref exactly what happened, why uh, why Josh got flagged for that, for whatever he may have done. As as much as I do like Josh, he has <laughs> repeatedly had flags against him throughout the season. He, he has, unfortunately. The if there was going to be a, a, t a person to get ejected from the Stallions, it would probably be Josh. Josh. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so Keel are getting set up and ready. And they're snap. going for a pass. Oh, I know it's a QB Big run. Ben it's a QB run. Hit on the so. Oh, oh face a cage. Face, face cage. Right there. there was a face cage. Sorry. <laughs> it's really coming This out. is the problem with being on yeah. the sideline and you can see everything. It's a problem with being a stallion <laughs> player trying to be. So, uh, <laughs> from the looks of it, the QB did a good thing there and went to try and stiff arm. Up. But then he did curl his fingers and, and grab holes. Unfortunately, he went to he went to stiff arm. He went to stiff arm um, number 26, uh, Goggles from the Stallions. Um, and while he stiff armed, he then did curl his fingers, fingers. which will then cause a face cage. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was a curling of the fingers, which would be. Which would be a face cage. Uh, 
And the referee has confirmed um, that it is a face cage yeah. um, against number 10, the QB from Kiel. Um, and from the looks of it as well, we're having some personnel changes. With the fact there is only about 20 seconds left in this game, Joey yeah, McKenzie is currently going in as, as a defensive end, and well, you've got Zach is. Green going in as one of his uh, one of his other positions that he plays other than QB, which he, is safety. He, he did actually when he started playing this, which he played five years before he joined yep. the Stallions, his first two years were at safety. Yeah, they were. And actually, when you look at what um, Zach has done with the Samuel Steelers, which was his old, uh, his old senior league team, yeah. um, he actually used to play a mixture of receiver and, and safety, safety yes. for the Steelers. Um, the moment that he joined the surge last season, he went in as QB with the fact that he'd been playing QB for the Stallions. It yep. made a lot of sense. They needed a QB. They needed somebody. Um, but now Zach, from the looks of it, is getting to go back in and have a, oh, yeah, a no. bit of fun as safety. I know which the coach <laughs> did promise him to do it. <laughs> the problem is, though, is imagine if we get to go back on offense and he's uh, he oh. manages to <laughs> oh, yeah. God, no. do something to his arm. Or I, mean, I feel like the, the personnel change of Joey McKenty going in at the end is, uh, is, is interesting. interesting. And I know <laughs> he's going to regret it. We did say that he was going to end up going on the line at some point, oh, yeah. didn't we? And he is finally, he is in his final game ever for the Staffordshire Stallions, he gets to go on the go line. In at the end. <laughs> Who would have thought it? <laughs> the man of glass in the most, one of the most aggressive <laughs> positions. I mean, I think it's gonna be interesting to see how his shoulder holds up. Yeah, that, that's just, just while getting absolutely attacked by an concern. offensive lineman. Um, so we'll see what happens, but we I will. think this is gonna be very, very interesting. Um, and hopefully Joey has a great time doing it. It's final game, why not? Try yes. it, give it a go. Um, all of the other players on this sideline right now, um, except for maybe a couple, have the opportunity to play yes. at whatever position they want to next year. That is for sure. Um, so yeah, um, timeout is coming to an end. Uh, the kill um, offense are currently walking out onto the field. Like I said, we've only got what like less than twenty seconds. Like twenty, yeah, like twenty seconds left on the clock. If kill managed to get a touchdown from this, like congratulations. And these guys are just going to have a great time out in the field, basically playing where they want to play, playing. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you're here to have fun. Oh, we just heard, we just heard apparently there's six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds left on the clock. Are they going to get the ball off in time is the question. So we've got the Stallions on the sideline, currently calling for the defence. Keeler lined up. Snap is good. And QB's the QB rolls. rolling right. And Joey McKenzie is currently chasing the QB down. Um, oh, and number no. 13 unfortunately jumps up and it just tips off his fingers. 15 seconds left. Sorry, it was 50. Sorry, I don't know where we got the seat. Maybe it was 26 seconds. Maybe it was probably 26 then. 15 seconds. Give me an NFL setup and then I'll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got 15 seconds left of this game. It's currently 25-9 to the Staffordshire Stallions. With the fact it's 15 seconds left, I think we can safely say, safely say that the Staffordshire Stallions have, have won, won Varsity 2019. Well, won this game. This game, yeah. No, not staffs as a whole, just no, the no, Stallions. This, this <laughs> I mean, it's only the first day. So, like. no, it's, it's still a few more days left here. <laughs> All right, Keel's set up, and they are second and five. What will they do? Oh. oh, false start. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's going to be a false start. I think it might be. Oh, yeah, encroaching the end zone. Yep. Uh, neutral zone. <laughs> Sorry, end zone. <laughs> because it looks like that our, um, pretty much all of our uh, D-line and our linebackers yep. were already in the neutral zone before any form of ball had even been snapped. Yep. And the uh, keel O-line hadn't moved, but they did move the moment they thought the ball had been snapped. Yep. Five yard penalty, yeah, there we go. second yeah. down. Yeah, offside against the Stallions on that one. It was very obvious, yeah, I think. It was, very <laughs> it was really hard to miss that one. And if you did miss it on the live stream, I really don't know how you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So it's also a first down because um, these yeah. the Kiel Crusaders already had five yards, which then meant that this extra five yards added meant that they got then to the end of the ten yards. Snap's good, right the running back. Oh, he's bounced. And he's he is taken down, down by Joey, by Joey McKenzie. McKenzie. <laughs> Who knew that Joey going as a defensive end could ever work? 
Joey's. And that's the end of the that's game. That's the end of the game. Staffordshire Stallions have won their game at Varsity 2019. We're going to pass you back. Oh, I've crossed over. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll go this way. We've, we've crossed our way. Should we, should we take a walk? Let's and go for a walk. Uh, we'll, we'll get within the action of uh, this result. Uh, we've still crossed over here. Do you, done this. <laughs> we there we that. go. We're, we're not crossed cross. anymore. We're right um, the, I think we're right in the right middle, in the middle of this. We need Should to we like move out of the way and give them a, bit, a, a bit, bit of room? I don't want to get clobbered. Can't tell what's going on right here. Why? Well, I was why? <laughs> we, we've got the wire Crazy cards into with the all game the players. There. <laughs> We had one red card. It's not called a red card. No, it's an, it's ejection. an ejection. It was an ejection. The as red, we've been card. The red card. The red card. The red card. It's, it's um, simple terms. I, I've just been saying to you off air as well. We've won that. Don't get used to it. Honestly, don't get used to it. Uh, we won't probably win now till Wednesday. Potentially. Who knows what What's could that happen? Event? What's that event? Oh, well, we, <sighs> volleyball. I think we're going to win at volleyball. Volley, okay. Basketball, we've got a good chance in. And... Uh, futsal as well. So, uh, but Staff Stallions have won this afternoon here. As much as we did win, I don't think it was as convincing as we were told and hoped. Uh, no. Is it a 20, 29 9 victory or 27 it's 9 victory? Yeah, so, something like that. Can we can we get a score? Can we you get a score? score? No? Okay. Well, I know um, Zach Green. Um, he got two, he, didn't he? No, he got one, I believe. No. Sam someone, Nash someone got scored two. at the end as well. Okay. Um, and also number 82. The squads are that long. It's huge. Yeah. All three teams. Yeah. 25-9. Um, I was close. 25-9 was the uh, full-time score, if that's what you call it, in uh, American football. Uh, it's very cold. We are very cold. cold. Uh, we're going to try... I'm going to try and get a couple of interviews uh, with the uh, staff stallions. But while we're doing that, let's see Zach Green at the end of uh, what we've got coming up for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, as I keep saying, football, men's football at Newcastle Town Football Club. We will be covering that from about quarter past seven tomorrow. Kickoff is at half past seven. And then on Tuesday, I forget what day it is. It's weird <laughs> being out on a Sunday. It is weird being out on a Sunday. I said this a minute ago. It doesn't feel right. No. At all. Uh, so Tuesday is the women's rugby. That's a half past five kickoff uh, over at Newcastle Rugby Club. Then we've got everything here uh, at Staffs on uh, on Wednesday, uh, including badminton, basketball, lacrosse, hockey, futsal, uh, women's football. Women's football's uh, going to be down here as well, and all the other sports: volleyball, uh, netball. I think I've missed a few out. Uh, but Staff Stallions have won, and as you can tell in the background, they are very happy with that victory even the people on the sidelines they get a cheer as well very big turnout um, they I'll have say. been very, very vocal very very vocal. very vocal we do want to apologize if <laughs> yeah. you heard any offensive language on the sidelines it cannot be helped unfortunately they're very happy with this result though you can tell and i think i think <laughs> half time they were saying they were going to bury him I don't think they've buried them, but they've won, and that's the important thing. Uh, Vars to 2019. Definitely not as convincing as um, we were first no. told no. by uh, Joey. He said they were going out to bury them. Yeah. Um, not the case. Of course, Tash believed that we could have got a 50-point lead. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that was ever ever going to happen. Um, at half-time, it looked... It picked up a little yeah. bit. Obviously, there was a few more touch lines, uh, touchdowns. Uh, I think Tash has just gone to run out and get a few, uh, a few players. Zach. Give him a hug. Um, it's now 1-1 one, one into the Varsity Series now. Yeah. So, hopefully, now the staff can uh, press on and grab a few more victories. Uh, so, I've grabbed Tash. Tash, <laughs> you, you were predicting a 50-burger. That didn't happen. I mean, it's, it's kind of more that I wanted a 50 burger. It's not that I thought that it was actually going to happen because, like I said, like these guys didn't face each other. They, they haven't faced each other since, I think, like December. That's a lot of time for not only staff to improve, but for Kill to improve. And with Kill having um, pretty much like a month and a half off because they finished their season early because they didn't get into postseason, Stallions had to do, obviously, postseason as well, so they had two extra games. Um, 
you kind of expect it to be, be a bit closer. And to be fair, Kill did actually deserve that score. Like, I mean, they deserved a touchdown because they managed to do some really good plays, like coming downfield. Like, yes, it would have been great for Stanley to completely shut them out. But Their quarterback was quite impressive as well, yeah. considering his size. <laughs> don't want, I, don't, I didn't want to say that. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Um, but he, he was very agile and very mobile. Yeah. Looked. A bit of a Cam Newton. So you look at Cam Newton, who plays for uh, Caroline Panthers. I only know Odell Beckham no. Jr. <laughs> no, Odell Beckham Jr. and Tom Brady is the furthest we go with I'll American give, football players. I'll I heard you, you calling Tom Hardy earlier. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of a, a lesson here then. So um, so basically, Cam Newton um, is the Carolina Panthers quarterback. He's basically a bit of that quarterback. He's bigger, he's taller. It's somebody that you don't expect to be an agile quarterback who can actually not only pass the ball, but can run with the ball. And it's one of those where you just don't expect somebody else to do that. But if you can train yourself to do that, he's going to be a great quarterback. I'm pretty sure that's not the quarterback that they had back in December as well. So obviously they've managed to get him from somewhere. Um, probably managed to get him on a course at Kiel and just was like, come play American football for us. So, you know, people do that. People do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you could pick a man of the match from today's performance, who would you pick? Or woman, obviously. Oh, that's really, really difficult. Um, I'll be honest, probably... I'm going to have to give it to him because it's his final... Because it's his final ever Stallions game, Joey McKenty. He, I mean, he stepped in its defensive end at the end there and managed to get the QB down. Like, you don't expect that from a receiver. But he has. He's been he's been an integral part of Stallions, like, the whole of the season, but also he had a great game today. Like, you looked at it and some of the catches that he was making, he was constantly there. Yeah, Zach um, did say give it to him and he'll catch it. Yeah, literally. So, Joey is one of those ones all season where you could just rely on his hands. And he got a touchdown. Yeah, so... Squad photo is uh, is going on now, and after that, hopefully, I'm going to try and pull a couple of the players in for a couple of interviews. You mentioned hopefully. quite a few players. Z you Zach's quite over, yeah. apparently. You mentioned quite a few players. It's their last of a game. Um, which players, particularly first years, do you see progressing and maybe becoming key parts of um, the staff's plans in the future? Okay, so um, so Boston Ben, um, number 87, um, he started off this season, he's from America, but he actually plays um, normal football, um, and that's what he's come over here to do, but um, he's obviously joined the American football team, he started off as tight end, but actually given a bit more training, given a bit more time, I think that he could be like the next Joey, um, but then also you look at people like, I'm trying to pick some people out now, Simeon, like what I said with the running back wise, like, there's been a couple of times where we've been a bit like, can Simeon do this but then he suddenly has a spark and suddenly you just see him sprinting sprinting through and he is quick he's speedy he's agile that's what you want in a running back so give him a bit more time he's going to become an integral part um line wise Desi Desi started playing regular football this season he's a second year which means he's only got one more season left in him but look at him now what he's doing already he's going to be incredible um so yeah it was fun to see Sam Nash get on the score sheet he was very excited yeah. <laughs> about getting onto the score sheet celebrations went a bit over the top but uh, fair play to him he's the first year as well isn't he yeah yeah so Sam actually started the season as a DB so Sam started the season at corner realized you know what I'm not actually that good at this so um he couldn't actually backpedal or do any things that DBs needed to do like see him running forward that's it he was away so yeah Sam He's, he's made that move and he made that move very quickly and actually managed to pick up being a receiver extremely quickly so I think he could be speaking of Sam great. speaking <laughs> of Sam can you come over and give us a quick interview oh yeah <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 go on call Tash call anyway, anyway. <laughs> we were just talking about first years and who, we were just talking about first years and who we think uh, can progress and become key players and it was great to see you score how, how does that it. feel how did that feel absolutely loved it i've been waiting a long time for it that's for sure i, I could see from your celebrations <laughs> you were very excited <laughs> yeah i was very very happy i'm not gonna lie <laughs> very happy. great touch there great performance yeah, mate. Great. Well, how, uh, how do you think the game uh, you're right yeah, how <laughs> <laughs> is that exciting he wants to, he wants to go <laughs> um how do you think that game went obviously oh, no. we, we at half time we spoke to joey and he said you know um we're gonna we're gonna attack more. Twenty five nine. Happy with that scoreline as a squad. <laughs> Obviously you've won. <laughs> 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 we're having a gate crash. Uh, happy with that scoreline. Twenty five nine. Uh, no, we wanted a lot more. I'm not gonna lie. We were looking at more like the seventies, and we weren't, didn't want them to score. But it is what it is, and I suppose we got the win in the end. And I'm just happy I got. I'm just happy I got the touchdown. So if you, if I'm honest, I'm just happy I got a touchdown. So <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna let you go and uh, go celebrate. Cheers, mate. Have a good night. And you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly very excited about his uh, touchdown. Here now we've got uh, Zach Green, number 14. 
definitely a contender for man of the match. Thank you. <laughs> um, wasn't the scoreline everyone was predicting nope. at half time? What are your thoughts? I thought um, we could have done much, much better on offense. I feel like our passing game all year has been one of the best in div our division, but we just didn't connect first half. Second half, it looked a lot better. We was a lot more confident. As soon as we punched it in, like we, we tried to promise, offense was a lot more free flowing. And when we started having fun, we were much better. On defense, it was just missed tackles and miscommunications. But, you know, that happens. You, you get tired, fatigue kicks in. The thing is, you've won at the end yeah. of the day. 25 9. Uh, not the scoreline that you were expecting. Um, standout players from your point of view for, you, for, for Stallions? Um, I want to say myself straight away, <laughs> but I can't. Kier, number five, always a baller. He's one of, one of the best on the team. Joey always comes in clutch when you need him. Sam Nash stepping up big and getting his first touchdown for like, the Stallions ever. Big Ben, the big guys, the, the guy in the trenches, all my O-line, all the bigger lads. They never get any credit. They never get any pictures. i got to give a shout out to my O-line all day. Should we get the other two guys in and uh, we'll... Uh, watch my headphones, I suffer a lot. Yeah, watch his headphones. Don't, don't break his headphones. Uh, guys, I've said it to, to a few people, not the scoreline everyone was, was saying, but you've won at the end of the day. Um, yeah. what, what are your thoughts on that? It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's good that we won, obviously. And like, I, I'm not going to say that we're disappointed with the score. But I, it, it's not, as you said, what we wanted. But it, as you, again, a win's a win. Start Varsity off right, hopefully. Carry on for the rest of, like, the, rest of the Varsity, all the other teams. Where, where do you think it went wrong in terms of not getting the points that you wanted? I think we were just a bit too confident. Like we we went up quite early and we probably thought, oh, that's it now, and we took our foot off the pedal. But win's a win, like Joey said. We're happy. How does it feel to uh, make it 1-1 in the Varsity 29 series? It's good. It's good. Obviously, it's like any anything like any positives towards Varsity is always good. I know like we we have a rough time of it sometimes, but it's like I said, hopefully getting us off to the best start possible, and then every other team will carry on as you guys are third years right yeah, yeah. yeah so as, as you guys are third years you would have known um, that in the past well according to Tash at least um, staffs have had I, will, I don't want to say disciplinary issues but um, there was quite a few ugly moments but it was good to see the staffs lads just stepping back let, um, let everything die down whereas before Tash was saying there were possibly a few fist fights maybe have broken yeah. out it's good to see yeah staffs it's um it, it, yeah, it, it, it comes with obviously like something like this comes with a sport. It's it's everyone's hitting each other constantly. Like like adrenaline's high. You're wanting to prove that you're better than the guy in front of you. So when things do come to a head, it was good to see, as you said, lads walking away this year instead of uh, silly penalties that we've had in the past. So the, the thing is as well, for three years since I've been here, we've tried to be the classiest team. We've always tried to be the nicest team. I get hit all the time, even late when I've not got the ball. You're just saying thank you, good hit. And it annoys them more, which is the funny part. But yeah. you got you just got to be classy and be the better man out there. You've, we're all out here doing something we love because not many people will know about American football. So I respect every single person that steps on the field with us, and that's that's the end of it. Lads, thanks very much for coming over. Uh, we have run out of time here on this opening day of Varsity 2019 here at Staffordshire University. And uh, if you enjoyed yourself, Dan, very much so. Actually, I I wasn't particularly um, too informed about. American football, but I feel like I've learned a lot today. Um, I've enjoyed myself. It's been a great game. Um, very hard, hard hits as well. Um, and I think staffs have done well today and done themselves proud. I know they would like to have got a better win, yep. a bigger win, but um, I think they've done really well. Yeah. So we will uh, see you tomorrow at quarter past seven from Newcastle Town Football Club uh, from the Sir Stanley Matthews Sports Centre. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>